Guns fly in, then they fly out. Gun chop 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 it up, you know what we about. Whoosh chop 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 it up, you know what we about. Gun chop 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 it up, you know what we about. Yeah, you know what's going on. Chop chop podcast back again. You know the flex with all the vibes, drink a juice, don't talk nothing too loose. Big up all my sponsors, Chef Walla, Caribbean Ice, everything nice. Mr. and Mrs. P for the edibles, you know what's going on. And um, what's this card game, yeah? The bottoms up. Big up bottoms up. Band over booze, banter and bad decisions. Yeah, big, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, big up like them, man, one, there. Yeah? You know? I want to introduce my guest today. Big up Castillo. Big man thing. Welcome, yeah, James. welcome. Welcome, my brother. Yeah, me big up Keem as well. Yeah, Grew some two some vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me back on form. How's things been, man? Them. All right, you know everything's good with me. What about you, bro? bro? Things is good, bro. I'm happy, bro. This is nice, but I like the setup. You lot even got a fucking ball and that with the thing on it, bro. That's how you do it, bro. I'm stealing bad ideas from this. Do thing, you bro. think, my brother? Yeah, from now, bro. Bad ideas getting teeth, bro. This is sick. This is sick. This yeah? is sick, man. Welcome, welcome. You know what I mean, man. Okay. I, yeah, I'm on the remy today, people. I had to let go of the rum for a bit, so. Yeah, the Why? rum fucks you up. Why? Man. Why you let go of the rum? Don't even remind me, man. I had a bad weekend, man. I had a bad weekend, man. <laughs> Took a last at the weekend. <laughs> so you hear me? So I'm pissed off. Oi, they had a rum. Oi. <laughs> I mean, piss so up, man. I mean, losing things and that. I'm not a man that loses anything. What do you mean, like, keys and that? Anything? All, I don't lose nothing. I don't lose nothing, but this time, I lost things, innit? Trust me, Saturday morning, you found me pissed. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> and times I had to wake, man, up. Lord. Yo. I'll allow it anyway. Moving on, man. Moving <laughs> on. Run the Remy. Castillo's here. Don't me know, and Keem. Know. We live and direct. You get me? Boom, bam. You know what it is? Go on. I've been seeing you a lot recently. Sticking it on, man. Oh, you're going to go there first. Yeah, we're going to go there yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the relevancy, isn't it? Yeah. Mad thing. Man blocked your account. <laughs> yeah, bruv, do you know what it is, yeah? Like, I don't want to, like, this happened, like, two weeks ago now. I don't want to look like I'm hamming it up, like, just trying to consistently get clout of the thing. That's dead, in it? Because my problem was resolved in the first week. Like, literally, long story short, somebody paid me for a promo. Yeah, you lot get it too when somebody yeah, yeah. DMs you, say, can I promote your thing or whatever. Yeah. Somebody pro- paid me for a promo. They put the money in my account. They said, now they said to me, oh, I'm going to put the money in your account. I said, okay, that's fine. They said, my girl's going to do it for me. I said, okay, that's fine. So then they put it in, and then they said, check your account. Checked it, everything was there. So I said, oh, that's fine, bro. I put it up. And the thing about me, I don't play about people's money in it. If you ask me to do something for you and you pay me, I'll do it. And then I'll relay back to you and ask you if it's good enough. If you don't like it, we do it again. We keep on doing it until it's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't fuck about people's money. That's number one. Because, bruv, like, I've used, like, four years ago, but you don't know what a kitchen porter is. A kitchen cleaner. Yeah, so basically like four or five years ago, mm. before Instagram and all that stuff, I was mm. doing kitchen porn for six, seven, eight hour, and I was doing nightclub bouncing. Mm. So, bruv, like six, seven, eight hour for eight hours, washing pots and pans, taking out bins, cleaning out the floors, then in the nighttime bouncing for like four or five hours outside nightclubs, bruv. So mm. money's not easy to come by for me. I don't know about, mm. about yeah, other yeah, people, yeah, but yeah. I'm not rich, no, bruv. So that. when mm. I get a little bit of money, mm. it means something to me, bruv, because yeah, six, yeah. seven, eight hour, I've got a graph for that, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, like... Gross. Something must happen. I must have gone to... I was up here, actually. That's the funniest thing. Is mm. I was up in Birmingham. Mm. Shout out to my, my barber, Cash. Yeah, he's got a barber called um, Seven Star Barbers. Big up, Cash. Yeah, Cash, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cash. I know you on the Yeah, so, like, literally, he, was, he always gave me shape-ups in the quarantine and that. He's yeah, a G yeah. with that, yeah? <laughs> so, like, literally, I basically paid him for the thing. And then when I went back home... I was just trying to transfer something else to my account. It got blocked. It was it was nothing. Nothing was working in it. Mm-hmm. So I called up the bank. It's Metro Bank, bruv. I love Metro Bank. <laughs> Metro Bank, bruv. You don't need no credentials and shit, bruv. You could come fresh up a banana boat, bruv. They'll open your account right there, bruv. You know what I mean? I love Metro Bank. Card same day, bruv. No questions. Like, where do you live? It don't even fucking matter where you live, bruv. This you can you can come here, blood. I love Metro Bank. Yeah. So like literally, they called me up. I was like, I can't transfer anything, like, and they said, Yeah, your card's been blocked because of fraud. And I was like. What? I was like, I just went to the barbers at fifteen pounds. What do you mean fraud, man? I ain't go- what do you mean? I had to pay my fifteen pound and they like they're like, oh. They said, nah, it's for something else. I checked with something else, it weren't that. Mm. So I was mm. like, so then they said, Well, your account's blocked. So then you know when you're talking to people on you when you're talking to people on the phone. I don't like talking mm. to people on the phones. I like going to the business. I like going mm. to the place of business because then all the yes. phone thing is just a long thing sometimes. Yeah. So the next day I was I literally was up here, like I said, I went to, you know. You know Metro Bank in New Street, yeah, right yeah, around yeah, the yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah. So I went there, and they were telling me like, "Yeah, can you provide this? Can you provide that?" I'm providing them with everything, and then they said to me, "It ain't. This is not the charge. This is not 
the fraud. This number that we quoted you, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, it's for yeah. something else. So I'm like, I just send you all this fucking information for nothing. So mm. fine. They said it's for this on the ninth. Mm. Yeah, so I'm like, the ninth. I said, and I'm a person, bruv. Ain't bare money in my account, bruv. So I know everything that's going in and out, bruv. You know when you ain't got peas like that, bruv? I know everything that goes in and out. Bruv, I'm telling you, bruv. Like, if I go to Tesco's, I buy egg and crest sandwich, bruv. I know that's what I bought, bruv. Yeah, I know that's what I bought, yeah? So mm-hmm. I was like, what's going on with this? And they tell me it's for like £100 on the ninth. So then I'm looking through my thing. I was like, the yeah. ninth. And I see a woman's name. Then it hit me. And I was like, oh, it's this. So then I just messaged the guy straight on Instagram. I said, bruv, what's this thing about fraud in my account, bruv? I put up your thing. Why is my thing getting reported for fraud? Mm. And then no reply. No reply. Hour goes by. No reply. And I'm in the bank. Like, I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? He's in the I'm bank like, for hours on that. Yeah, like, I was waiting. waiting. Yeah, because you're thinking to yourself, yeah, you they, block, they blocked it off. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about you can't get a penny, bruv. You can't get fuck all, bruv. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about, and I like to walk everywhere, bruv. So like, literally, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to have to walk back to where the fuck I just come from. But around here, bruv, it's just motorways. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You go from New Street to Aston, New Street to Erdington, you can't walk that, bruv. you got to go around the yeah. fucking motorway. And I was thinking to myself, yo, my maps can't even calculate that, bruv. I'm going to have to be on some mad fucking pursuit of happiness walking around like some dickhead, bruv. I was like, what's going on? And I was like, yo, this is mad. So I was, the woman's like, yeah, there's nothing we can do. So I messaged the guy, no reply. Hour and a half, no reply. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it, bruv. So then I literally just had a picture somewhere of him. Like I went on his page. I had a picture. I just put mm. it up there on my Instagram mm. and I did a video. I was walking through New Street Station because by that time the bank said we can't do nothing for you. So I have to figure out what's going on. They're doing an investigation. So mm. I walked through the station and I'm like, big man, Tig. Anybody knows who this guy is, bruv? <laughs> send me his name. Send me his number. Send me anything you can send me, bruv. And within about an hour, bruv, I had numbers, names, everything. Like mm. I had so much, yeah. And now then- did you get the address? Friends? No, 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 no. It's a oh, mix no. of things, isn't it? Oh. And you got a piece of together yourself. I don't want to say, but like, so like, literally, and then what ended up happening after that, like, he replied, obviously, innit? Because obviously yeah, your yeah. picture's up there, innit? Mm. I privated my page, because obviously you can't put mm. things out there like that. I privated my page. And then he responded. Then he was like, getting back to me. Then he said something about how, oh, shit, the woman that I, that put the money through, she must have, she must have basically reported. I'm like, bruv, you said it was your girlfriend, bruv. What, what, what woman, bruv? I'm lost. You know when you stop? Now I'm starting getting panicky, bruv, because I'm like, what woman, bruv? Like, where's this going now, yeah? Because I'm like, what have you got my account tied into, bruv? Your next thing you know, bruv, your account's in some mad thing, bruv. So mm. I was just thinking to myself, like, yo, and he said, yeah, basically I did this, some business arrangement with a woman. I've been airing her for two, three weeks. I'm like, so you're fucking fucking with somebody's money, bruv. <laughs> I think to myself, so what's that got to do with me? So long story short, what he did, Let's say, for example, this I'm going to use you to an example. Let's say you've hollered at me for promo, yeah? yeah? yeah. I give you my details, but imagine yeah. you two are doing business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you tell him, this is 300 pound, mm-hmm. yeah? Instead of giving him your details, you give him mine, because that <laughs> yeah. covers the payment yeah. that you're about to pay me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what he did with my thing, innit? Okay, so yeah. now imagine now he's, you, like, he, you're hollering at him now mm. for business. One of you lot airing each other, and then he just goes and reports the thing for fraud. But it's my account, because oh, you gave him my oh, details. Yes, 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 so yes, then yes. my whole thing got blocked. So then after that, I was just thinking to myself, I'm just messaging the guy, messaging the guy. Bro, why have you done? What is going on? What's doing this? We're messaging mm. him for ages, 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 ages. I'm going to contact the woman. I contacted the woman. Con- coincidentally, she was from up here. Mm. Nice lady. Like, she was trying to, she was cooperating. She was like, <laughs> sorry, this is this and this. She didn't know. She didn't have no idea what this guy was doing. So I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm going to talk to, and then I said, can you send me a screenshot of the payment confirming this thing, bruv? Mm. Saying that it was paid so then they can reverse it. And then she's, see, he's, I'm, at this point, I'm talking to him. This guy sends me a screenshot of a phone, taking a picture of a phone, bruv. Can I take that to the bank, bruv? I look like a fucking crackhead, bruv. If I go to the bank, like, yo, the man sent me the payment, like, yo, this is, bruv. And I showed that to them, and they were just like, nah, that, that ain't it, you know? Like, this thing ain't gonna cut. So then I'm starting stressing out. I'm like, what's gonna happen, bruv? If, like, my machine, like, it's How many gonna get days blocked. Has it been at, like, at this point, it'd been like two days. Two days. Two days now, back and forth talking. And you know the thing is, when somebody, there's a thing, like I said, I'm not a rich person, bruv. Like, literally, Social media gets people confused. People think that you got followers, you got money, yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. bruv. Like yeah. I got graph for everything that I get. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah, people yeah, saying it's a hundred pound. I was like, I don't get it, but it's a hundred pound, bruv. <laughs> what is that, bruv? It's a hundred pound much, that I need, bruv. That's bev. how much the fraud was. Hundred. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hundred pound that I need. I need that hundred pound, bruv. I ain't gonna lie, fraud bruv, was. Bruv, do you know how mad it is when you're on the train and the inspector man stops you and then you're just like, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, do yeah, nothing, yeah, bruv. You gotta get the fuck off, bruv, and wait to the mid, bruv. I've had times when I got up, bruv, and I had to keep on jumping off each thing. I was, I was at fucking Tile Hill, then Marston. Green jumping up. I was like, what's going on, bruv? Yeah. He said, jumped up. Bruv, I jumped up. I was panicking, bruv, because then when they start asking all these questions, bruv, yeah, so then, like, it was mad, innit? So I was thinking to myself, yeah, what's this thing of my money, bruv? And then I, when this has happened to me before with someone, and I had exactly the same thing years ago, 
So I can't sleep when somebody owes mm. like when somebody owes me money. Mm. I can't sleep, bruv, because literally. And at this point, it's not just owing money. It's like I can't even get money. Mm. So would you <laughs> say the, the promo thing's loose? Then like you can't really. Bruv, I don't trust it, bruv. I don't know. <laughs> Like, do you know what, yeah? Because you know, if it, when, when Metro Bank starts questioning you about your transactions, bruv, that's when things is mad for your life, bruv. Because Metro Bank, they'll ask people questions about their thing, bruv. So I was like, man's got to have to go up to these random Monzo Monies banks, bruv. I don't even know. Now, that's what I got now, bruv. If you ask me, if that gets locked off today, I was like, bruv, that's fine. There's only like £2.50 in there, bruv. Yeah. You can keep that, bruv. I don't care. But like, so then it's been two, three days. I can't sleep. And then the conversation's going on deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And then I'm thinking to myself, then it's like the rudeness starts coming in. Mm. Then he's like, and you know when you're angry about your money, I was like, bruv, you fucking mm. dickhead, why'd you do it? I'm just vexing it. And then he says to me like, oh, well, I'll just, well, I could just not help and I could just deactivate my account and then you're on your own. I'm like, man. Hold <laughs> on, you're not a distract. Yeah, thing, no, yeah. Man, I'll get to that, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, you know when somebody says that, you, I could just lock off the account. Then you're just like, yo, I'm in no man's land now, bruv. What's going on, bruv? And then like, then it starts getting, then I start getting it. You know when you're used to, your heart starts beating like, yo. Then you start thinking about the future. Like, yo, I can't pay rent. I can't pay bills. <laughs> yes. I'm going to be homeless. Like, do you know what I mean? You know when you start thinking, bruv? I start looking at park benches right there, bruv. Where am I going to sleep, bruv? I was like, where's the park bench that I can sleep on right now, yeah? And then I start getting more panic, more panic, more panic. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? Then it's the rudeness, and then mm. it's more rudeness. And I was thinking to myself, then I was like, bruv, you know what the best thing you can do? Just compensate me some money for the mm. meantime, because I need mm. money in it. Yeah, then he yeah. said, I'll give you three to five. I said, okay, that's fine. Three to five, what? Three to five hundred. Days. Oh, three to five hundred? Yeah. yeah. And that's cool for me, because I'm right, like, cool. but then in the, it's still not good enough, because mm. if your bank gets locked up, what are you yeah. going to do for this five hundred? Yeah, that's going to have to yeah, stretch yeah. for a long time. Mm. But it's just a compensation to give mm. me three to, I said, just give me five. Mm. Just give me five. And I said, I'll meet you. Mm. Man turned around and said, I don't want to meet you. You're gonna stab me, and I was like, <laughs> "I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro?" And, stab, like, what, what's, and then the la- then I started clocking the language and the messages, stabbing, threatening, harassment, yeah, 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 yeah. and all these different things. Then I start getting like, "What? What's, Lock up team. What, what is this? <laughs> what, what is going on at this point, yeah?" And then he started doing the bad man thing in between, and then I started like, bro, I was like, bro, "I'm not gonna stab you, bro. I just want my money, bro. Just give me five. Mm. Just give me five. And he said, "I'll pay you in bitcoins." I was like, "Fam, <laughs> <laughs> bro." So, so oh, wait, there, wait there. Bitco- what are, I don't even know what I, bitcoins are, Bev. I'll be honest with you. I don't care what nobody what, tells what me. If I can't see it, man. What was you promoting? It was like some Forex trading thing. I don't know what that is, bro. <laughs> I don't know what trading is. Man. I just thought, bruv, it's your business. It's not Forex my business. Forex trading. If that's how you make your living, bruv, I'll nah. promote for you, bruv. One, and man was in Lamborghini. He's like, <laughs> fucking luxury. I'm like, lavish life. I'm like, yo, this guy is killing it, bruv. I was like, because I was like, he didn't even ask for a week of promo, bruv. He asked for the one day. I was like, one day, 100 pounds. I was like, yo, living life, bruv. A Lamborghini, you you got hundred pounds to give me for one day of promotion. I was like, bruv, <coughs> usually mm. I'm telling people, bruv, you see this hundred pounds you're giving me, you sh- I'm, I'll make that last a week and I'll put your shit up mm. every day. Man's mm. like, nah, just put it up for a day. I'm like this nigga's crazy, bruv. This guy's got peas, bruv. Go on the page, Lamborghini, go on Ferraris. I'm like, this guy's people are living life. I'm like, yo, what, I'm, what am I doing wrong, bruv? But do you think he needed the promotion or like? I don't know what the fuck he did, but I just thought to myself. So you got, got money in it, bruv. He got so, you then, in it? Really? <laughs> bruv, so then what ended up happening here? Yeah? I didn't even care. I just thought to myself, it's like you give me a food business. I'm like, I'll do your, I'll ask you what you need and I'll do it to the end for you. I'll mm. promote your shit. It's a hundred pounds. That's not cheap money, bruv. Yeah, so yeah. I did it. And then the bad man talk starts. So he said, pay me in Bitcoins. I was like, bruv. I was like, you already, you already just got my card to turn, bro. You're talking about Bitcoins, bro. I don't know what that is, bro. But it sounds like a mad thing, bro. It sounds like some, some Crash Bandicoot fake money thing, bro. Like, I don't know what Bitcoins are, bruv. And then, like, the conversation switches, and then he starts doing this weird, like, then he starts doing this bad man thing. Then he starts saying mm. stuff like, say something. He goes, he goes, he said, he said something to me. I, I cussed him. He said something like, no need to be rude, did it, or something like. And then I said to him, you, you're doing promo for Steve O the Madman. You ask him to promote the same stuff, and Paige UKQ, you ask them to promote the same stuff. And he said, yeah, but I didn't promote them off my account. I, I, didn't, pay, <laughs> I didn't pay them off anybody else's account. I paid them off mine. And I was like, and he's like, so say something. I'm thinking to myself, what? <laughs> I was like, so you gave my so details to some fucking random people. Are you communicating with him over Instagram or No, nah, I'm coming out on WhatsApp, oh, okay, innit? But then yeah, it's yeah, when yeah, he yeah. said to me, like, yeah, I paid them out of my account. I paid you out of somebody else's, so say something. <laughs> Bruv, like, literally, that just hit my whole body. I was like... <laughs> and you know the maddest thing is when somebody's not in your face and you can't even say, who, who am I going to insult, yeah, bruv? I'm like... Yeah, yeah. And I said, listen, bruv, yeah. I said, you know, I know where you live. Like, I was like, I, I know where you live, you know? And then he's like, well, if you, and he goes, that's not my, then I put the address. He said, that's not my address, man. That's the address of this person. This, and if you come there, they'll get the police involved. And Because I know about you, Mr. Drug Dealer. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, what, what am I, what's, what's going on? You know when you start getting paranoid, you're like, yo, what's, what's going on now, bruv? He's like, mm-hmm. he said,
I was like, bruv, you don't know shit, bruv, because anybody that knows me knows you're chatting shit. Mm. So I was like, keep going, because I knew harassment, threatening, this, yeah, yeah, knives, yeah, yeah, stab, yeah, yeah. all this shit. Then it just starts getting weird to me. So I'm yeah, just yeah. like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And then the last day wound up happening, I ended up going back to the bank. And then mm. I came I came and I said, the woman has reversed the fraud. So I basically, he gave me the number to the woman. I see, she basically said she called her bank. She got the whole thing. thing. So I went to the bank. I said, the woman's done it. Oh, it got it's reversed. been 24 hours. Yeah. They said, no, nah, sorry, we, we ain't got that. Oh, And I was like, I'm bad, bad man. I ain't had like three days of sleep yet, so mm. I ain't slept in three days. So I'm going to the bank happy. Like today's the day. Like, I'm, you know, when you're bad happy, like my bank account's fixed yeah, today, yeah. man. I'm thinking, yo, man's going to buy a fucking chicken and bacon sandwich today. Life is good, man. Get yeah, some the coins and the pokers. <laughs> bruv, uh, bruv, I, uh, wow, I was yeah. like, bruv, I can get my my fucking McCoy's steaky crisps. I'm like, yeah. life is good, bruv. Nothing make me happier, bruv. I'm good. So I go to Metro Bank and they're like, nah, man. They're like, there ain't nothing reverse. And I was like, what do you mean nothing's reverse? I called a woman in the bank. She's like, yeah, I've done it. Nah. And then I was like, bruv, fuck this. Where's the head branch of Metro Bank? They're like, it's in Holborn in London. I was like, cool, got to go back home then. So I was like, get the train back to Holborn. And at this point, I'm on the train fuming, bruv, because this guy's done the bad man talk. He's done everything. My bank account's fucked. So I'm just sitting on the, bruv, at this point, I'm sitting on the train just like this. You know when you ain't heard, bruv, there was no music in my ears, nothing. It was two hours on the West Midlands Man, train, just, bruv, just quietness, bruv. Because like, <laughs> you weren't talking bruv, to nobody. Bruv, then it was, <laughs> your, your mouth bruv, was, bruv, bruv, your mouth was closed for <laughs> two hours. Bruv, my lip was dry and gold in there. You know when you got the white things in the corner of your lips, yeah, bruv? I was like, just like, <laughs> I was just like, fam. And then people, like, you know when, you know when the ticket inspector, man, I was like, I, you know when you just give him the eye, bruv? Just the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and the man just thinks you're a nitty, bruv. He just gave me the eye, like, I just gave man the eye, yeah. like, fam. Not today, bruv. Yeah. And he continued, he's like, oh, no, sorry, sorry, mate. Sorry. Yeah, tuck the yeah, lips yeah. in as well. Bruv, yeah, you know what was there, bruv? You just like, <laughs> bruv, just got to the <laughs> mad black, you, bruv, you know when you just do the mad black man face, bruv? Just, <laughs> But that, yeah, because I figured, bruv, you, have you ever seen that movie, um, A Time to Kill yeah. with Samuel yeah, Jackson? Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, yes, bro. they deserve to die. They combining it. That's how I felt, bruv. Yeah, so yeah. I'm just quiet, bruv. I'm just on the train. It's like, yeah, yeah, I go yeah. to the Hoban bank branch. Two black people, though. They were nice, bruv. They're lovely people, yeah. And like, you know when people speak to you on the level, they just said to yeah, me, yeah. Shrep, like, they're like, we just called up. This is the head branch. They're like, we just called up the people. They said, unless you can get a PDF from this woman saying that she did it, mm -hmm. your bank account is locked off. And I said, so if it gets locked off, any money that's inside, I won't get back. They're like, well, you will, but you'll have to prove where you got it. And it's still going to take 30 so days for us to investigate. <laughs> it's a big man. Go on. Don't mean to get in your business. No, no, go on, go on. What type of figures was in the bank looking bruv, for? Bruv, nothing, bruv. It's the principalities, <laughs> bruv. It don't matter how much is in there, <laughs> bruv. It don't matter what was in there, bruv. I wanted it back because it's mine, bruv. It's so mine. So hold on. So at, at this point, yeah, how did this track come? Bruv, like, this, no, we're leading up to it. So then bear in mind, yeah, I'm in the bank. They're like, sorry. They're like, Sorry, you can't do it. And once they told me they couldn't do nothing about it, bruv, I just, I just shook the woman's hand, shook the woman's hand, and I just made my way to his house, bruv. <laughs> and then, at that point, bruv, I was like, it's three days of no sleep, bruv. Come on, bruv. My eyes are red, bruv. I ain't brushed my hair. I ain't brushed my teeth, bruv. Yeah, I was just like, bruv, I was just stinking, bruv. I was like, fam. Like, and you know the ones where, like, you know the ones where you're so vexed, you want to cry at the same time, because yeah, there's nothing you could do, bruv. And you know when your voice is like, like, yeah, like, yeah. I was just vexed. Like, I was, so I literally looked at the people in the bank. I was like, yeah, so there's nothing you can do about this. Like, nothing. The, the woman's like, nah, I'm sorry. And I was like, nah, like, like so it'll, it'll get locked off for real. Like, the whole thing will get locked. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, all right. I literally got on the train, bruv. Back to, to the back to No, nah, straight to the oh, house, where, where is his? Because I'm from West Center, but he was living oh. somewhere in South, bruv. So I okay. went there straight away, bruv. You got blanked out, bruv. I want to get the guy yeah, yeah. fucked up, bruv. But I literally, like, went straight on the train, bruv. No talking. Went on the intercom, mm. pressed the intercom thing. Somebody said to him, like, oh, nobody lives here by that address. I'm like, listen, I know the person lives here, so please mm. just, just let me in. We're going to call the police. I'm, I'm going to call the police. You don't live there. That's fine. I'll, that's fine. Call the police. Rang it again. No answer. So I waited another half an hour. Somebody come out the door. Then I was like, oh, this is perfect. You know when you know when you're living in the state? Because I'm from, I live in a block mm. of flats where in London, innit? Yeah, so, yeah. like, literally, people will open the door, but if you wait long enough, some old ladies is going to mm. come out in it. So yeah, then yeah, I was yeah. like, I walked all the way up, had the door number. I just stayed outside. I just yeah. stood outside the door number, stood outside. But when I heard police, I'm like, oh, shit. Now I can't do nothing because I'm like, they're coming in it. So I was like, mm. let me just wait. Did you dress all in black and that? Nah, bruv. I was, bruv, I was wearing the clothes that I was wearing for three days, bruv. Man was selling like all-purpose seasoning, bruv. Man was smelling like a Maggie cube, bruv. It was no joke, bruv. I was just stinking, bruv. So like, literally, I just got to the thing and I said, oh, they called the thing. So I just called up my bank trying to get an update. And then I'm just outside. The next thing I hear, someone said, "We're calling. I'm calling the police. I'm calling." Them. I said, "Yeah, that's fine." I was like, "I'm waiting for them, minute. That's yeah. cool." Because I'm like, I know he's here, bruv. I know he's inside. Then I'm waiting there for half an hour. Then I just start getting aggy even
what's going on here? And then literally, eventually, I just heard somebody saying, I didn't do fraud on your account. And I'm like, I knew this guy was in there, bro. I knew he was inside. Why are you pretending like you're not inside? And then literally, the next thing I had somebody say, I want to see your face. I want to see your face. And I was like, what? Why do you want to see my face? You just call the police. Let mm, them see my mm, face. Mm. So I just waited, waited, waited. At this point, it was like half an hour now. Mm. Yeah. Next thing, he comes out and then he's through like this bar thing. There's all this, all this extra shit. Well, you lot probably saw what happened through that bit anyway. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I just, yeah. at the end of it, bro, I, like, I just basically was just standing out there for time. And then I just, because uh, when somebody calls the police on you, like, I'm going to ask you, if somebody calls the police, says like, right now, something happens, somebody says I'm calling the police, mm. you're not going to run in it because if they said that you threatened them and they said you've done that, it's gonna look like that if you run. If you're in the right, it depends. Gonna, no, it, yeah, depends. It, depends. it depends. It depends. It depends, isn't it? But like I said, but then he started yelling like, "He's got a gun!" Because you are at his house. Like, yeah, you but you are at his house. Yeah, exactly. You are the fr- you're like, exactly. You might have to go. Exactly. <laughs> but then all I was, "You got a gun! <laughs> Come and just stab me!" He said, "You got a gun!" You came and just, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Is-? So now I'm like, "Nah, I definitely got to stay, man." Because <laughs> now the neighbors think I got a gun. So I was like, "Yo, chill out." Waited there, waited there, waited there, wait. Obviously, you can call the police because he's doing some fraud thing in it. So I just waited. Then I went to the neighbors and I let the neighbors know that like, I'm not fucking crackhead. Like, mm. don't think that I'm a mad thing. And then, so yeah, this yeah. way, the this thing comes in. So, like, off, <laughs> after that, yeah, I put that on live, everything like that. So, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. You never get no money at the door? No, 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 because the thing is, it wasn't about, it wasn't about the money. It was just mm. about the whole thing. At the end of the day, I, the money thing was confirmed that it was mine. The woman did the mm, thing, yeah, reversed yeah, the yeah. thing. So, it wasn't <laughs> about the money. It's the whole thing where people say, say something. Mm. Say something. Okay, like, yeah, with me, yeah, I don't yeah. like when people, like, yeah, I can't, off, I'm like, if up. I'm having an argument with you and you've got a problem with me over the phone, I can't <laughs> argue with you over the phone. I can't yeah, argue yeah, for another yeah, man yeah. over the phone. I just need to come and just start shouting. And yeah, say, I, I don't, yeah, 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 it's weird to me, bruv. I can't do, like, man's not Jamaican, bruv. I can't do the whole, ride with the Oscar to the bumper. I can't do that, bruv. That's not me, in it. I can't put that on. So, I was like, I'm just going to have to chill. I'm just going to have to to see what happens in it. So then, literally, the, it wasn't the bank thing, it was the whole acting like a bad man thing. And the thing mm. is, I was thinking, obviously people see Instagram, I do the bubbly thing, mm. people see me on back chat, so then they have one perception mm. of you. But I'm like, mm. literally, three years ago, I was literally doing nightclub bouncing, I was depressed, mm. bruv, I nearly got sex, and I was on fucking Prozac and shit, bruv. Mm. So the Instagram thing came as a result of me being depressed. Mm. Yeah, 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 do you yeah. know what I mean? So then when people see me as one way, and they're like, nah, nah, you're just doing some comedy thing. Mm. No, it's literally just done because I can get some kind of money, I can mm. get something from it, because yeah. otherwise I'm fucked. Mm. Yeah, it's not funny, like you know what I'm trying to say. Mm. So when people see the jokey thing, that is a part of my personality. But at the same time, like you're not gonna take the piss out of me, bruv, and yeah. make me think yeah, like I'm a dickhead. Yeah, that's bro. that's when it gets different, yeah, bruv. Yeah, and no, yeah. and like I said, bruv, like it's gonna be two things. Yeah, I got one person in the world that I care about. That's my mum. Mm. We got mumsy. So like yeah, I ain't got nothing up. else. I ain't got nothing else to lose. Drink but up for mumsy bed. Oh, uh, shout to the mum, bruv. Love yeah, you, man. Man. Love you. See me, I am chatting shit. So, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But like literally, like all I care about is my mum. I'm adopted by my grandmother. Yeah, my grandmother. My grandmother adopted me because both my parents are schizophrenic and were, my mum was on drugs and my dad's a crackhead. So, like, apart from my mum, my grandmother, that's the only person I care about. So, if I go to, when people say to me, why'd you go there by yourself? I'm going there by myself because if mm. you do anything to me, I know your mum and Ed, dad and everybody's in the house. Mm. So, everybody can get it. If you do something to me, I'll come back the next day. If you do, if you get somebody else to come and do it, I'll go to them because then you're just bringing other people in your problem. Mm. So, I go, that's why when people say, why don't you go with nobody? I'm like, I don't need to go with nobody because I'm not bringing somebody else in my problem. Mm, if I got yeah. a problem with someone, I'm not going to ask you to come. I'm not going to ask mm, you to yeah, come. I'm not going to yeah, ask yeah. nobody because I'm not trying to implicate, man, or bring mm. people in. Next mm. thing I took, like, this happened to me. This must have happened to you. Your, your brethren's like, yo, fam, you're, you're, you're out trying to buy a fucking Cornetto, bruv. Your brethren's like, yo, come with me to this place. Next thing you get there, there's like a hundred men, bruv. And you're like, yo, what the fuck is this, bruv? Like, What's going on, bruv? Like, that happened to me bad times. I'd go for my mm. cousin places. Next thing, we're outside somebody's fucking hostel and my, brother, my cousin's telling him, yo, lift your hands up. I'm just going to punch you in the stomach, not the face. And I'm like, cuz. Bruv, I was literally just getting going to the corner shop to get some chocolate bars, bruv. Why am I here? And man's like this, and then my cousin's all punching him in the stomach. I'm like, fam, my mum's mm. calling me, man. Like, my mum's calling me, bruv. I gotta go back home because I'm figuring, mm. what the fuck is going on? So I don't put people in problems like that. I don't want to put anybody in no issues. That's my issue. I saw about my issues itself. And like I said, all I got in this world is my mum. So mm. then if I go there and you got five of your brethren's and one of your brethren's does something to me, then all your brethren's I'm coming back for them. And then mm. now it's mm. Mm. it's just me. Mm. It's just me. I ain't got nothing else to lose. Mm. But your friend might have. Your friend's got family. Your friend's got something. Everybody's got a mum. Everybody's got a dad. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, like, if yeah. I'm coming to you on a one on one thing and you're trying to do all this thing and bring all your friends, now it's yeah. uh, it's created a bigger problem because now it's yeah, almost yeah, yeah. like I box man up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's man. what I'm trying to say. Because can then you fight. Can you fight? Yeah, I used to. Yeah. I used to do amateur boxing trust, back in the day. Trust, so like, trust, literally, trust. even my nose. I only can breathe through one nostril. Yeah.
That's your weight class, isn't it? So <laughs> I'd be like, fucking heavyweights and shit. And then they told me one time, we're going to put you in there with some guy called Charlie. Charlie's Ugandan guy, skinny, bruv. I'm thinking about I'm going to run through this guy, bruv. Like, I went up to Charlie. I'm like, literally going in on Charlie. I'm like, bam, bam, like jabbing Charlie. Charlie's just like, calm. Charlie's goes, shh, shh. Pop like that in my face, bruv. My eye, my eyes just started watering, bruv. I was like, oh, yeah, I, bruv, I just froze up, bruv. Charlie scared the shit out of me, bruv. I was like, I don't know what kind of, bruv. This guy, I got mad fear from this guy, bruv. Like literally, yeah. and the maddest thing is when I was going to when I was going to the gym, yeah. Man walked with me. That's the first day I met him. Man was my friend. <laughs> Next thing, this man gave me a free piece, bruv. And I was like, fam, my eyes started watering. You know them ones where you can't even say nothing, bruv. Yeah, yeah, and afterwards, yeah, yeah. man did the thing. He's like, it's all right, man. You can come back tomorrow. And I was like, fuck that, bruv. I can come back tomorrow. I took a week off, bruv. I never went back to the gym. For a week, bro. My eyes was watering. <laughs> my <laughs> nose was bleeding. My, my 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 boxing gym trainer. He was like, he was like, he's like, don't worry, man. You come back another day, and I was like, nope, I'm coming back in two weeks, bro. Fuck that. And then when I went home the next day, I couldn't even brew for this nostril. And I was like, yo, Charlie, fuck my whole life up. To this day, bruv, anytime I get rude to someone, I just wait up. I'm like, don't think his man's skinny, bruv. He might be like that guy. Just fuck you up, bruv. Do you know what I mean? So, bruv, it's like that's what I'm saying. So it's almost one of them ones where I think what it was. I just think the guy. Literally just took me for an Instagram person. You don't. Mm. Nobody knows your story before what they just mm. see your perception yeah, or something, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So then, the, where the diss track came through, <laughs> the next day you'll think to yourself, "This is over. I've just gone to somebody's house. <laughs> the matter's rested. If somebody comes to my house, the matter's rested on my side, mm. bruv. If you find my address and you turn up like a bailiff, bruv, the matter is rested. <laughs> Whatever my problem is with you, we can. I will apologize mm. to you right there. Yeah. So the next day I start getting prank calls. <laughs> <laughs> And this is a new phone. So I was thinking to myself, only five people got this number. Like, why is this guy's prank calling me? Then he was like doing this weird shit on the phone. I was like, you know, I know it's you. What are you doing? <laughs> and then I just thought to myself, you're taking a piss at this point. And I let it go because it's over. It's over. The bank had called me and said, everything is fine. Your account's mm -hmm. cool. But then the next day again, I'm getting a call. Man's telling me, oh, yo, so let's talk like at, men. At, at this point, the bank saw it now. Yeah, the bank saw it. Yeah, the bank saw it. I'm back good. open. Everything's fine. We're, rock, we're rocking and Everything, rolling. Bruv, Metro Bank's told me, fam, you're good. Yeah. You're blessed. We've refunded. We've, we've even given you a nice little 25 pounds. I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah. living life right now because I'm like that 25 yeah. pounds. Get myself okay. a little sandwich. So now you're good now. I get Chinese. I think I got Chinese that night. All I needed to hear was that, I needed to hear that part. Bruv, I got Chinese food. I was like, yo, my shit is like, I ordered bad things of that 25, you know. They're like, this is compensation for the inconvenience. I was like, yo, this 25 is nice. Yeah. And then literally, I can't even lie to you, bruv. I went to the back and I I went to a cash point and literally, I, now I went to the bank and I literally withdrew every money I got in there, bruv. <laughs> like, fuck this, bruv. They got everything, bruv. I was like, take it all out, bruv. Keep in your house, bruv. Yeah? So like literally, he ended up, then the next day he calls me again and he's like, let's talk. I'm like, why are you calling my phone, bruv? This, this is finished. Like, why are you calling mm. my phone? Then he said, yeah, man, let's talk like men. And he's like, because you're getting clout off my name. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about, bruv? And he's like, you're getting climbed out. And why are you calling? Like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, why are you calling my phone? Yeah. And he starts going, yeah. Da, 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 da. And then and then in my mind, it just clicked instantly what was happening. Then I start, then I realized what was really happening. What you're trying to do is trying to lure me back to his estate. Because then he'd probably called the police and told them I was harassing. So the yeah, first yeah. time I go there, if the neighbors are there, they'll they'll, they'll vouch for me. They say that yeah, I'm not a crazy yeah, person. The once. second time you go yeah. there, you are harassing someone. Mm. So I knew that's yeah, what it was. It's over now. You got your banks open. You fuck yeah, up, so you fuck dickhead. it. But then I realized to myself, let me capitalize off this thing because you lot might not know this, but I was doing music from like five years ago. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, this? No, we do, we no, do no, know no. this. Yeah, so like it's in the iPad research, my brother. Bruv, thank you for oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> so like, literally, I've been doing music for time, but mm. nothing ever popped off. I was doing mm. music before I did Instagram. Mm. The only reason I started doing Instagram videos was to build up my following, was to build up my following, because you lot know, some of you man probably do music in here, you lot know that the music thing's a hard game. You know, everybody's doing music. Mm. If you want to stand out apart, it's almost like you've got to get your own lane of people to fuck with whatever yeah, you're doing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's what I was doing. I just said, I'm not trying to be a comedian. I'm just being myself. I'll just mm. chat. The videos would go viral and then... That's when I was like in my kitchen pouring thing as well. Mm -hmm. And then that's when my Instagram started going viral and shit, yeah? So then like literally, it kind of helped me because mentally I was like, it's a little outlet. And my mm -hmm. life is going a bit, my life's a bit shitty. So this will be a little fun mm -hmm. thing to do to just take my mind off it. So then I tried to build the music thing off that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, I just tried to, and them times, bruv, or the only thing keep me saying, I was just listening to my three favorite rappers like Nines, Mist and Seabiz. Those are the only people Big I would listen to. You know, you know that tune, um, Ain't the Same, Mist and yeah, yeah, all them yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. This one, Mist first blew up around mm. Link Up TVs. This, that's yeah, how long yeah. ago it was. So mm, maybe that's mm, 2015, mm. 2000. Mm. So these are the only people I'd be listening to day in, day out. Mm, and I was mm. trying to like do rapping thing, learning bars and all that stuff. But then obviously, you know, the music thing's a hard game. Yeah. It's a hard game to mm. do music on any level. So then I was trying to use that to promote myself. But the only problem with that is people more saw my 
comedian, comedian side. thing of yeah. me just chatting, which is not even comedy because I'm not a comedian. I'm no. just talking. <laughs> Real life story. It's like you just doing a video and people saying like, now you're a comedian, bro. You're like, what? I'm not <laughs> a comedian, bro. But literally, people was trying to pay me shows for that. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Mm. Bruv, I was like, bruv, anything. People be like, can you host my show? I'll be like, yeah, yeah. Mm. People be like, my son's got a birthday. I'll be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, bruv, somebody told me they got a rave. Can I can I host the thing, bruv? And I was like, when? I started doing the whole Yardy Man thing, bruv. I'm not even making I was like, what about bruv? Bruv, I was just doing that shit, bruv. Because I was like, that's money, innit, bruv? That's money that I can, I don't have it. So let me, let me whatever I can yeah, hustle that, up. Them, yeah. them, them, them gigs there must have increased the pom pom rate. Bruv, of course, bruv. Mm. Of course, of course. But to be fair, before Instagram, even when I was just like on job seekers and shit, bruv, that, <laughs> that was getting gal then, bruv. Mm. You can just pattern it, bruv. You just go to the cheapest places. Yeah, you go to the Yardy Man race. Yeah, bruv, stand yeah, out, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know that, man? How do you know that, man? Have, yo, yo, how do you know that, man? You're in there as well, now. I know you're in there, man. I know you're in there, man. You know them. Oh, I used to go for them older yardy things, man. Them older yardy things, man. That's my thing, man. Them older yardy things, man. I just go there, man. I'm hella young, man. And you just look like it's like nice. All them man is like old big man drug dealer dudes, man. And I'm just there, and it's like. Chilling in it, you know what I mean? I'm just there, like, yo, just, what's going on? I ain't got no bottles, bruv. Go when I finish my drink, go to the toilet, fill that up with water, bruv. It's good again, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Let Life is guessing. good, bruv. That was my little guessing. trick, bruv. Get, get a little there. vodka, fill that shit up with water, and it's yeah, yeah man's mad wavy, cuz you know them ones there. That's all I do. So with Instagram, yeah, yeah, it mm-hmm. went up, but the thing is it's like, in a way, it's it's a bit bad because then because I was getting a bit more visible. Because I was doing the kitchen portrait thing and I was with Blue Arrow, they'd send you to different places. So they might send you to a fire station, they might send you to a, a school to wash the pots and pans or whatever. And like then I'd be there like washing the pots and pans in the dinner. And you'd be like, I seen you on Instagram. I'd be like, nah, 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 that ain't me. You know, that ain't me. They'd be like, nah, 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 I follow you on Instagram. I'd be like, nah, bruv, I left that job so quick, bruv. I was like, I'm not trying to be out here yeah, looking yeah, like a the... dickhead, bruv. Like the thing is, it's, it's a job is a job, innit? But the thing mm. is, it's like, you don't want people to know too much about you, innit? Because yeah, then people's yeah, yeah, perception. Yeah, yeah. But, everybody, but you're on Black Chat. They know a lot about No, no, that was. Black, the black Chat thing came free, like, free years years after. Oh, okay, okay. And I auditioned for that. Oh, you have to audition Insta- for them thing then? Yeah, yeah. because oh. my Instagram got stuck at 67,000. It wasn't moving. Mm. And in them times, I was trying to pattern up comedy shows. Even though I'm not a comedian, I book comedians <laughs> and I just do it as the show. I'd be like, it's my yeah, event. Yeah, yeah. I book the acts. They come oh, on, yeah, yeah. put a music act on. Yeah, yeah. But it's my show. Mm. But obviously, and I try a little hosting thing, just pattern up, but I'm not a comedian and people. People would go there and they'd want to see me perform, but I'm like, I'm not a comedian or whatever. But what ended up happening was, um, sorry, what'd you ask me? Where was I? I just lost my train of thought. The, um, what was it? The, co- not the comedian. comedian. Yeah, back, back chat, back chat. So back yeah, back so my following got stuck at 67,000 and then I saw the opening for back chat. I was like, yo, these people are getting hunt like a million views on that episode. So you get like, paid I'm not, for I'm not too chat. proud to fucking get paid for that. Do you get paid for that or not? No, 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 so I didn't. Explore, I don't know what bro. other people say, so I don't want to hurt people saying, I didn't, True. I did yeah, that yeah. shit for free because True. to me, yeah, yeah. I do bad things for free. You had bro. some controversial moments a on lot, there as well. Lot, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think which one was one of the mad things that you had. Do you know what it is? I think probably that happens because you know when you're just being yourself? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I can't do the filter thing because I'm not trying to be an Instagram social media guy like making everybody happy and shit. So I can only just be myself. So if it fucks up opportunities, then it what's not for me is not for me, bro. What's for me is for me. I respect that. Though. Yeah, I mean, but I respect that. Bro. Yeah, bruv. What's not for you is, is not for you, bruv. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not any, any, any relations with any of them yellow? After nah, 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 bruv. You gotta be with me when it comes to social media. Funny enough, though, I've met, I've dated my woman crush Wednesday, and she's from Birmingham. Ooh, and I was following this thing for years. Yeah, well, don't say anything else. Don't say anything else. Don't say anything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, 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 yeah. just said it was uptown one night. Ah, oh, he's okay, 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 okay. 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 Yeah, 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 you can, you can shut up. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna have any person name one. But like, literally, my woman crush Wednesday. She was on there for time. She didn't see me from Instagram because she'd followed me for years, and so before I did anything, when I was just doing raves and shit in the ends. But like, I was seeing us. But the thing is, I don't like when it comes to the social media people. Like actual social media people, like even in the back chat, I don't, I didn't want to mm. mingle with anybody because mm. you don't. This is with everything, and this is a lesson to anybody. Like mm. man, them doing their thing. If you're not doing your thing, even man, them just chatting to girl on Instagram. Yeah, you gotta be careful with what you're saying to anybody mm. because you don't know what someone's motives are. You could mm. be chatting, yeah, you could yeah. think you're chatting to a girl, but next minute you're on a fucking. You're on a register, bruv. You don't know what you said. Morning, <laughs> babes. The next thing, like, literally, you're on a register now, bruv. Like, your life is done, bruv. You're cancelled out here, bruv. So that's why I don't like talking to nobody, yeah, bruv. Yeah, and my yeah. conversations are real dead, bruv. Like, literally, now, people like, morning, I'll be like, hey, like, what's good? And they'll be like, they'll be like, where are you from? I'm like, I'm around, innit? Like, I'm just about. And they feel like, how old are you? They'll be like, 18, 19, sorry. Conversation mm-hmm. done, bruv. I'm not chatting to you no more, bruv. So, I, what is that? You've been doing that all the time or
<laughs> once they put, bruv, once your name is on any of them things, bruv, yeah, like, yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with that, bruv. So, like, if, bruv, if you're a thing and you look, bruv, I, I'm be honest with you, yeah. For a while, I just stuck to the old Yardy things, bruv. I'll be real with you. Like, I know how old you are. I look at your face, look at your weave. I look at everything, bruv. I'm like, that's a big woman, bruv. And that's, that's, I'm staying right there. Bruv. I'm staying right there. I'm not risking it. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to play like double Dutch with a thing and be like, yeah, so like, nah, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's been times, obviously, when I've chatted to a girl and obviously you're chatting and then you get things that look oh, like big girls, innit? And then you'll be like, how old are you? And they'll be like, I'm 21. And you'll be like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, bruv. Fuck that, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, he's like, it's, 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 it's mm, that's long That's proper, now. man, that's proper, man. Proper. Do you know what I mean? You've got to be careful. When it comes to social media, bruv, even even when you're chatting to people, I guess, like, there's <coughs> things that's probably just screenshot, like, yeah, it's, it's going to probably happen yeah. to you, like, people screenshot you, screen record mm. it. You might be moving a bit but loose me. with a thing, like girls be like, "Yeah, come over." Like, yeah, like man's gonna come over. Like when man gets down, no, you, you never done that. Nah, thirsty. fuck that. You never done that thirsty on the ground. Never. Come on, be I might, still. I might have put like a, the love eyes and shit, yeah, but I'm not gonna be like, "Yo, babe, <laughs> man's gonna come to the house." I'm like, "Yo, send you a dick picture." Like, what are you doing? Nah, man, not doing that, bev. Man's not doing that yeah, at all, bev. Of course, of course. Do you know what I mean like? And then the thing is, like on Snapchat, like a few times, I don't understand <laughs> Snapchat. I don't really understand them things. I like Instagram because it's quite straightforward. You have people that message you on Snapchat. And there'll be people and you've seen like bums and shit like that. And then one time some next person was chatting to me like they were showing their back off and I'm thinking, why are you, it's like, I said this somewhere before, I was like, it's like 9 a.m. in the morning, why are you sending me ass pictures? This is fucking strange, bruv. <laughs> yeah? And I wasn't saying that to the person, bruv. Next thing, bruv, I must have clicked on the story. It was a fucking man, bruv. The person <laughs> switched that battery around, it was a dick there. I was like, fam, mm -mm. block mm -mm. and delete, bruv. Mm -mm. I was like, this is why I don't speak to people, bruv. This is why I don't speak <laughs> to people. It's mad, it's mad. That's, it's things like that that will happen to you, bruv. That's why I don't chat to people. I keep yeah, my conversations yeah. brief. I keep yeah. everything limited, bruv. So how did you secure the Woman Crush Wednesday then, man? To be fair, I was, I always, I've always been coming up, I've always been coming up to Birmingham in a minute throughout yeah. the years. I was going to say that, you know. You nah, seem but to be you're going first. I'm not, have you got game, though? Are you just one of them men there that, yo, babes, do my hair, please. No, no, no. You no, know no, the no, man no, there? No, you know no, the, no, do my hair, babes. No, no, do you know what it is? Yeah. You got some game, really. I don't, I, I, I don't like ever to... I don't like to be fully forward with the thing. Mm. I want to be a bit, I don't like to be creepy with the thing and all that. Mm. And at the same time, even with girls, I don't like being one of them men that try and come on too strong because the girls are getting hollered by a million times. I'm not going to be that guy like chasing you up and then you'll just treat me like a dickhead. Yeah, Next yeah, thing, yeah, somebody yeah. famous messages you and you're replying straight away, bruv. These times I've been putting in groundwork for six months. You don't fucking <laughs> yeah, talk to me. Yeah, yeah. Next man just comes in like, hey, babes. And like, it's a done deal. So I don't do that, innit? But at the yeah. same time, I was always coming up here throughout the years. Like I said, um, I, go, I had an ex-girlfriend from London. She'd go to BCU up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. then I would always visit here mm, mm. and always come back and forth. Then I'd had, I'd had the next thing in, uh, years before that in Dudley, yeah. Erdington, uh, mm, fucking lovely. Hansworth, mm, Smithwick. Yeah, I, used to come, I, used to be at, bruv, I used to be here all the fucking time. Like when I say oh, yeah. all the time. Mm. But the difference is up here though, it's like the difference between up here and London, up here will make you feel on edge differently. Because yeah. it's like, it's just like, it's like the city center and then it's like everything is like a drive. Everything is a drive. Like mm -hmm. I've had times where like people show me love and it's like mad love. They try to pull me in the car. I'm like, yo, somebody try to kidnap me right now. <laughs> I don't even know, man. I don't even know, man. I was all like, yo, what go on, man? Man starts driving the car. It's like, what the fuck is going on, man? Do you know what I mean? People up here is different. What I like about people up here, yeah, it's like you don't know Who's who, bruv? But everybody looks like they're about saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you don't know who, you don't want to disrespect nobody, you don't want to look at them, you don't want to chat to nobody the wrong way because you don't know who the fuck they are. In London, you can kind of gauge it because if I go to Northwest, I go to West, if I go to South, you kind of know who's who based on who. Up here, because yeah. I don't know, I'm not from here, I'm just coming through like yeah. somebody says, well, you, must, you must know by now. You've been, you sound like you've been around yeah, for a Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. But at the same time, it's like, it's one of them things where people here is a bit different. It's like the love, it's like you lot up front. So one time I was at a cash point getting money and these two big dudes walk up behind me and they're like, yo, what are going on? I turned around with my keys in my hand. I was like, oh shit. Like, let me have some fun. And they, they was mad friendly to me. I was like, oh shit. I was like, and I was like, bruv, why you not come say hello to me at a fucking cash point, bruv? I thought you were trying to rob my money, man. And they're like, nah, man. So, but up here, the love is nice. Like people just, when people want to say something to you, they'll come up and say it to your face. In London, we're different. Like London, man could literally just be, you could go out a rave, man, and watch you the whole night just like. Yeah. And then you go home and man's like, yo, I saw you in the rave tonight, bruv. Hope you're good. I've got a business. <laughs> like, fam, bruv, you were screwing me for four hours at the rave. And man's like, yo, I've got a business. You need to come put on a comedy show down here, man. Bruv, that's what I was going to do just before the lockdown. Okay. I was okay. going to basically, because obviously, even though I'm not a comedian, it's good revenue in it and shit yeah, like that. So yeah, what yeah. I was trying to do, I was trying to put something up here together and the lockdown just hit in it. Yeah, I was going to yeah. do like a little mm. tour thing. But like, in regards, you're asking me about the diss track thing. Mm. Obviously, I make music already.
um, was going to go record it on his estate. And then the problem was, that's when he'd called me and said something to me. Like, that's when I plopped, he was trying to lure me to his estate. And I'm like, fuck that. I'm like, I'm, I was going to go. I literally, mm. the guy that filmed it funny enough, he's from out here. He's I from was going to say, what was the cameraman's for? Highlight, 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 highlight films. Well, now, what was he thinking when you said, yo, you're going to do this diss track? No, no, he didn't know. He didn't know anything. I just said, come meet me in this place. I gave him the address. And the next day I had to change the address because that in between that, that's when the guy called me and I clocked you. He was trying to like get me to come there. He'd probably call police or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So then I just called the, the my camera people, highlight film, shout out to him, shout out to Luke and that. Shout out to Piara. I used to do P1, P1 yeah. or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah shout yeah. out to them. man. That man is always nice to me. Like They're always blessed. So like he came all the way from Brum to London and then he came around my old estate and we just filmed it around my old estate. Yeah. Jeez. And then this, you just filmed the whole thing there. Do you know what I mean? But the whole point was to go on his estate and that's where we're going to go. But then I just thought to myself, one man said police. I was like, nah, bruv, yeah. I'm not going there at all, bruv. I think I'm going to go get arrested for like fucking £100, bruv. It's, 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 I'm not doing that. But yeah, when you asked me about the securing the woman crush thing, mm-hmm. I was up here one time and I was on a bus. Yeah. I think I was on the, I think it was like the 87 or something, the 87 <laughs> bus or something. I think coming from Smevik or something like that. I think it's the 87 or 86. Mm, not familiar. And then, like, bruv, you look like you have a car, bruv. So, you, you, <laughs> I'm busting it, bruv. Like, listen. Yeah, there's my driver. And he drive for me. He picked me up and that, man. Oh, so you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. Like, up here, like, I'm like a tourist, bruv. I'm literally mm. getting on buses. Yeah, it's just going different up here, man. Yeah. In London, you got, what, the 24 hour 24, yeah, yeah. I, bet, bruv, I literally madness. came here one time at like midnight, bruv. I'm like, yo, where's the 24 hour, 24 hour bus, <laughs> bruv? I was literally out there for hours, bruv. I didn't have no money, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on with this, man? Yeah. I had to quickly have to pan an Uber from somewhere, didn't it? Like, so I was like, fucking hell, man. Mm. But like, yeah, what it was, I was on a, I was on a bus and then literally there was like a crackhead on a bus. You got mm. mad, cra- the crackheads up here is yeah. different, man. Erdington's a mad The crackhead is different. <laughs> but I think I saw a dead person in Erdington, bro. <laughs> I'm not lying. I think I saw a dead person, bro. What happened? I was at Erdington, yeah? And like, I must have been walking, yeah? And bro, there was a man on the floor like this, bro, with his phone in his hand and he was just standing in the sky. Mm. And I was like, yo, this is what they do up here, fam. Like, this is mad. The man's just chilling on the roadside, just sleeping, bro. That's mad. So I just walked over him and I walked up. I think I walked up. I forgot where I was going, but I walked up to a station or something. Next thing I said to myself, yo, maybe that guy was dead, you know? That's bad karma. Like, I didn't even yeah, yeah. help, man. I walked back down and then he was getting, like, wheeled into an ambulance. And I was like, this is a different kind of place, bruv. This mm. is this is a different... I was yeah, like, that man mad. is dead, yeah? <laughs> that guy is dead, bruv. I just witnessed this at 7 o'clock in the evening, bruv. And, like, literally... One time I came up here and it was like in the city centre by the Lloyd's, Lloyd's TSB thing. There was a man leaning, bruv. He was literally just standing there, moving in slow motion, bruv. And I was like, fam, there's some different level of mm. crackheads up here, bruv. <laughs> They're different, bruv. And the figures as well, yeah? It's like, bruv, I don't even know, man. They'll be on the buses. I'm like, yo, they got transportation, bruv. They'll be, they'll be moving about. I was like, fam, they're moving free. They got freedom passes and shit, bruv. I was like, this is a mad life, bruv. But yeah, as she must have just mentioned me. She said, are you in Birmingham? I was like, yeah. Mm. And we just went on a date or whatever. And then basically, that was it. We start, we see each other for like, I think. That's it. Yeah. yeah you you there, you there. We went cinema. We went cinema. Mm. We went yeah, cinema yeah. together. And then she's a proper thing in it, so I had to like do the proper thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. take, and the thing is up here. That's proper. What's proper? Proper, like cinema was a cinema thing in it, so it was like. Well, because I don't think cinema is proper for a first date, me personally. Okay, how come? Because you just you can't really you chat. Can't, you know, we're watching. A f- if the film's good, you can we have interact. to watch the film. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. don't chat to me. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't like the thing. Conversation for after though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, and you can go, so. and then it's one of them ones where it's one of them ones where if it's kind of good and the vibes is good, mm. you can go to like a creams after. I think we went to you know you know um went to the cinema. I think Broad Street and opposite is the creams. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we went yeah, to the yeah, creams yeah, afterwards, yeah. and then yeah. yeah, it was just like that from there in it. But I like, mean, I, do you know what day. I like about do you know what I like about the things up here though? That's different, bruv. The things up here got yards, bruv. <laughs> they got yards and cars. They got accommodation, bruv. They got real shit. Cause you know up here, the rent is good, bruv. So they got real yards, they got accommodation, they got ting, bruv. You're like, yo, how you got this, bruv? And we're the same age. How you got a whole fucking house with a driveway, bruv? I ain't even seen a driveway, bro. I just got a block of flats, bruv. You know what I mean? I'm like, what how you got all this? In London, yeah, bruv, in London you be, there was like, bruv, back in the day, yeah, I just used to I'm kind of weird with the rolling by myself thing. I just used to go to anybody's estate to link girls and like mm, link girls and that's why I'm not really funny about traveling mm. by myself because yeah, I go yeah, to yeah, mad yeah. people's estates at all different times. Don't bother me. I'm there to see mm. girls like anybody else's business. I'm yeah. not involved in your business. I'm there to see a girl in it. So I just go to mad different places. But like the thing about that is like I'm in London. It'll be them things where you could be seen. Because the rent's so expensive, bruv. Like, everything's mm. mad. Like, literally, you could be living in your toilet, bruv, and your rent is a thousand pounds. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I'm it's saying, you know, these brumptings go London to live, but they live in some... Yeah. Bruv, life, it's what mad. The? Up here, 
Up here for a thousand pounds, bruv, you get a whole fucking yard, bruv. You get the yeah. whole thing. Mm. Up here, you got you can pay your rent. You have money left over in mm. London, bruv. I don't know. That's why I don't do the stunting thing and I don't put a false image of myself, bruv. Because mm. you really will see me on a bus, bruv. And I'm not trying to explain <laughs> to you why I'm in the mansion and now I'm on my Oyster Card thing, bruv. I really will tell you that. You're going to see me about on the train, bruv. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, man's not trying to give nobody no fraudulent life. Because people, they'll show something. I'm like, yo, but like, to live in this area, it's like two grand a month, bruv. Like, mm. How you, how you how you living like that? Like how you got money like that? But up here, bruv, the things they're living good, bruv. They got yeah. not they they got their thing blessed, bruv. They got everything's mm. nice up here. Pattern and style. You know what I mean, it's nice. It's nice. Mm. Yeah, I know what he's on about. You see, because I know the the backstory. I know what he's on about. <laughs> bruv. I know how he was living, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> he's living good. <laughs> he was living good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw the picture? Huh? No, I seen you. I seen you active, like out. With oh the yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> So no, he was living this is Bruv, what I'm, I'm telling you. Like literally. But to be fair, girls up here, I think what I noticed a lot of people are, a lot of guys up here say that Brum girls are more gassed on London guys. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, like they yeah, think yeah. they think like certain man got well, certain thing or whatever. Yeah, mm. they think London man, I don't know what it is, but they just think London man are just different, you get me? Oh, uh, that's mad though, man. This it's different because like I don't know, like I think I, I guess it's like the Instagram thing, you know, like Instagram like it's like some people put of everybody does it to some extent. I don't really like to do that, like I said, because people catch me slipping, bruv. There's been a few times back in there you see man walking at the job center, bruv. So that's, that's not trying to that's not trying to stunt on people. Then you see me, then you, I go viral outside. I'm like, yeah, I'm really there, bruv. So I wasn't ever trying to stunt back in the day. I'd tell yeah. people how my life was for real. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't so what made you start doing the whole YouTube interviewing people and stuff? To be fair, it was the lockdown thing. You know, with lockdown, mm. well, everybody must have experienced it. Some man there. If you're working, you do like the nine to five or whatever job you're doing. Mm. Like things, people start losing their job. People start, and then you have to think of other things that you need to do. Yeah. So I just thought to myself, like, the best thing to do to keep myself sane or whatever is just do a YouTube thing because mm. at the end of the day, yeah, if you don't build up your own platform, you're always gonna end up relying on other people to bust your thing. Yeah, yeah. And I don't like that. I don't like having sure. to beg somebody to promote something for me. I don't like having to chase somebody to do anything for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather yeah. do it myself and build up my own kind of thing so then people come to me. What's the Remy? Oh, no, 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 I'm good. I got the thing. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. Like, I don't like having to chase people for nothing. I'd rather do it myself and let people chase me after that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather, I'd oh, rather sorry, do that. Sorry to cut you. Sorry to cut you. That's okay, man. I've been chatting bare for man. Did sorry. you see Trillery on the chop shop and then drafted him in? No, no, no. I, knew, I, I was a fan of Trillery. Okay. I even said that one. I, I liked to. Who won in the clash? Trillery uh, or Nole? Nick and Nole. <sighs> for real? Nole, Nole won. Yeah, how, how, why, 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 why though? Do you know what it is? It's almost like, I feel like her shit was just like a haymaker. It was just like a one. Okay. Yeah, it was just a haymaker. I think sometimes, and you know when people can shut stuff like this down quick, when they do the haymaker thing and then they don't respond. Then it's kind of like you're boxed in because no matter what you're saying to them, they're never going to respond to you. Mm, so they've, yeah. they've kind of got their shit off. And then what happens is if you keep on responding to them, it makes you just look like you're, you're, you're trying too hard. They've just yeah, said, yeah. I've done this and it's over for me. I don't need to talk about it no more. Yeah. But I think she had the, the nice little one haymaker thing. But Nole it, had a haymaker or Trulu? No, no, Nole. Okay. But musically, they're both good, but I listen to a lot of Trulu because I think Trulu makes like some really Trulu good music. Trulu is the better artist. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I've too. been listening to Trulu for a long time. And like, I, that's how I messaged her. I messaged, when she followed me on Instagram, it was like mm. two years ago. I messaged her as a fan. I said, mm. I'm just listening to your song. Mm. I like I like the way like you put things together. I like, yeah, I like, yeah. I like your music. And that True. was it. But when I invited her on, it's because I was starting my thing. I just mm. messaged people that I knew that would reply yes, back to yes, me. Yes, I know so anybody course, that yeah. could reply back to me, anybody I've met, <laughs> I get them. Yeah, if you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. I'm no, not gonna... got a lot of people that's edgy. Yeah, look, nah. I'd say it's a mix. Like, some people, they just won't respond. Maybe because they don't know me and I don't know them. And mm, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just yeah. sending my thing. There's some people that will give you <coughs> a thing where I don't want to do this or I'm not ready for this, which is which is fine, too, because obviously then you just get that situation like you guys were talking about where you do it with them mm, and then yeah. afterwards they'll tell you, can you take it out? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just prefer them just tell me straight up. Mm. So what do you think of that, though, like when people want to pull the video down after you pull it up or I think do you know what it is it's like I just think people should think about it first yeah, don't yeah, go on yeah. anything if you can't be totally honest if you ask me a question right now I'm going to yeah. give you my honest answer I'm not going to come on this yeah, yeah, if yeah. I feel like I need to hide something from you yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to call you after this and be like yo bruv like, can, you, can you take that bit out man we're sounding a bit just keep in there I yeah, said it yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to come here if you can't ask me yeah, anything I love honestly. that energy though bruv yeah, yeah because, because you know what it is everyone knows what they're doing you ain't forcing drink down no one yeah. you ain't feeding man no drugs. Exactly. You know what I'm trying to say? I did so offer him some weed and that. He don't nah, want that no give me weed. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, though. He had a nah, choice, though. Mm. He had a choice to make. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Some man are just smoking with me. Like, I'm a smoker. They're smoking with me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and they're just getting higher. Yeah, but do you know the problem with you? You look like one of those deceptive people where, <laughs> like, you look at people and then you look like you're like, everything's all good. These times they're just revealing bare shit about their life. And you're like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, like, I used to do that to people a lot. Like, I used to over talk, so people would be like, People, I'd be having a to, conversation with someone <laughs> and I'd be telling them everything about my life. I'd be like, yeah, fam, right now, man, I'm about to lose my house, bear shit. And they'd be like, yeah, man, that's good for you, fam. That's quite good. And so I'm like, what are you doing for yourself today? They'd be like, oh, nothing, man. I'm just going to work. And I'm like, I'm like, this man didn't tell me nothing about his life, fam. <laughs> and I just told him everything about me. Like, do you know what I mean? So now, like, I just, I just know if I go on anybody's thing, I'm not going to go on it. If yeah, I yeah, if yeah. I am gonna tell you to take it out, mm, keep it true. in. We like that. We yeah, like that. Like, you had a good one with ZZ though, know, man. That one was funny, man. Yeah, like to be fair, that that thing kind of helped me a lot because I dropped a song at that time, and that mm. is the first time I ever got like a hundred thousand views on a song. Mm. So that was good for me because I realized. Big up ZZ, innit? Yeah, yeah, shout out yeah. to ZZ. ZZ's blessed. Like the one thing I like about her, I just like I like blunt people in it. Mm. I like her for that. I like mm. the fact that she's blunt. I like the fact she'll ask you. Well, in my case, anyway, I can't speak for anybody else. She mm. asked me straight up. And I like that. Like, you don't have to dance around me. You can ask me. You can ask me things straight up. I don't want to like. I f- I'm coming on your platform, innit? You bet. You might as well yeah, fucking yeah, ask yeah, me what yeah, you want to yeah, ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna get all cagey about it and act a bit offended. Mm. Do you know what I mean that's mad? Yeah, but yeah that's Jesus bless. Shout he to gets Jesus. a lot of slack though, man. But I don't think it's warranted to be fair. Well, to be, do you know what it is? I think everybody's gonna take something some ways. Like I say a lot of things that people take the wrong way. Mm. On back chat. Some people didn't like me. Some people did like me. <laughs> you said such a word on back chat. Well, I, I said a lot of things. What, that was you, what was mad? What was the maddest reaction that you got? How many times have you been cancelled? <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I ever had that problem because I think people know what they get. Mm, yeah, it's true. <laughs> so true, it's, true. that's the thing. Like you see, when people do this like social media thing, I think the problem is they try and project something. And like, if you're trying to get somewhere and you're trying to do like the cookie cutter thing, mm. and you you come outside of that zone and you fuck your shit up then you'll realise that you just fucked opportunities up for yourself. With me, what's not for me is not for me. Mm. If it weren't going to work for me, it ain't going to work for me. Mm. If I have to make my own lane, I'll make my own lane. Mm. If you don't want me on your thing, you don't want me on your thing. I'm not going to be upset with you. It's not for you. You've got mm. an audience, you've got a brand. I, I'm not suitable for your shit. I'm not suitable. Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's it. That's how I just look at things. So when it comes to saying things, I'm going to speak my mind about yeah, it. I say what it is. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> what type of girl you like in industry? Industry. You're not even an industry girl, can you nah, just nah, like nah, the nah, other nah, nah. I'll be honest with you, like, I like thick black girls, bruv. Mm, I like thick white things as well. I like thick <laughs> anything, bruv. <laughs> thick like, white girl as well. Thick, I like thick white things as well. People think now... When you say thick, what you mean? Fluffy, thick, fat. Bruv, I don't deal with nothing less than, like, 14 stone. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be 14 stone of thickness, bruv. You've got to be a big thing, bruv. Don't know. You've got to be a big thing, bruv. Like, I, like I just like big things, bruv. 14 just, stone of 14 it. stone, bruv. Like, literally, bruv, like... But the maddest thing, when people think 14 stone, they think fat, bro. No, I'm not. Fit girls are that. like You're strong body. You mean? You're strong do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I do you know what it is? It's like, I just like my things looking like solid, bro. Mm. I just like my things looking like if like if we're out and about mm. and something pops off, you can <laughs> kick something in the face, bro. <laughs> Take you your wig off, yeah, girl, bro, do you know come I like in. that. Yeah, I don't like yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the pretty, pretty, dainty mm. old things. I don't, I don't I don't know, man. Like certain things is not for me. But when it comes to like preference, my preference, I wouldn't say like I mainly go for black women, but doesn't mean I'm not open mm, for yeah, other women, yeah, if you yeah. get what I'm trying to say. Mm. But nine times out of ten, if you do see me, you're probably going to see, like, a thick black girl. How do you get the white things, though? What do you mean? occasion, I like to say, actually. To be fair, like, I don't... I don't I'll be honest with you, I'm a weird one. When it comes to white things, I don't like going for white things <laughs> that just like fucking black dudes. <laughs> I want to go for white things that just like me. The casserole things. <laughs> I don't know. I like ones that like to... I like ones that like me. Do you know what I mean? I want a thing to like me, bruv. I don't want it to be a thing where you... Nah, I've had things where I've seen a thing and I'm like, what's your ex look like? It's a yardie man. Then it's some next dude looking dude. Then it's some next looking... I'm like, bruv, what kind of brothers do you like? And it's like, you just like black dudes. I don't yeah, really like no. that. I like, some I like a thing to like, like me. you for your, for your tattoos and gold teeth and like. Even still, I'd rather you like me like that than just tell me you like man because <laughs> you you're black. That. Do you know what I mean? I don't want somebody to just like me because I'm black, bruv. That's, mm. that's mad. <laughs> next thing I look at your, like your man and it's sort of like some... Some fifty-year-old yardie man, bruv. And I'm like, what the fuck is this, bruv? Is this what, is this the type of man you're fucking, bruv? Now I'm like, now I'm chilling with you like some dickhead, bruv. That's long. So was your big on the yard scene in um, London, bruv? I'd only go to yardie raves. Yeah, I, I only like going to yardie raves because I don't like going to. Obviously, I'm black British. I'm born here. Mm. My dad's Indian mm. from Grenada. My mom's black, mm. but black Dominican. But at the same time. So you call that like, Dominican Indian or something? No, 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 no. It's cool, oh, isn't it? Oh, cool, cool, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the funny thing. But to be fair, <laughs> to be the, the maddest thing is, yeah, the maddest thing about that though, the coolie thing, I, I don't say that no more because coolies are actual Indian people, isn't it? So I'm a dogla. That's when you're black, 
and Asian in the Caribbean. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh. like Cooley, I think that's Jamaican slang. They'd say Cooley. Yeah, we call you a Cooley boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course, of course, of course. But yeah, yeah. in Grenada, that would be an Indian person. Okay. In Dominic, in in Grenada, a Douglas would be like some someone like me, where you're half black, half mm. Indian. But in regards to like the Yardi raves, I only used to go to Yardi raves because I feel more comfortable in them. I don't mm. like black British raves because everybody's on an image thing. Everybody's yeah, trying yeah, to stunt. Yeah, everybody's yeah, got yeah. money. Everybody's looks trying to look like. And I just mm. thought to myself, I can't go to them places because Black I'm not gonna be able to. Is. I'm not gonna be able to buy it. <laughs> I, that's what it is, Jeremy. Because you, know, you know what it is. That's the in London are now. As well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the bottles are way cheaper now. But it said Black British raves and it like. <laughs> Nah, I don't, you know, that don't make no sense. Nah, you know what in I London, picture, I just picture the black man in New York. No, no, but you know the thing. <laughs> the you know the thing. What I've noticed up here, the Yardi thing and the black British thing, it's all one. Yeah, that's yeah. It's all that's one up here. Say. It's all one. So that's normal. Yeah, to it's me, normal. Man. So when you come up here, I've been for a few raves up here. It would be like the people that's born here and the Yardi scene as well. Mm. So one in London, it's like Yardi scene, mm. Afrobeat scene. Mm. Then you got mm. the then you got like the trendy people. Mm. Then you got like the city people mm. or whatever. So like I just used to like going to the Yardi ones because I just felt more accepted. I just felt like. I don't have to go there and look like I'm buying people, like I'm buying out bottles. Yeah, I ain't got to pull up in some mad rental car yeah. outside. I can. I used to just catch the night bus to the Yardi rave. And I literally, I didn't win the Yardi rave was over. I'd walk to the furthest bus stop where nobody could see me. And I'd jump on the bus, <laughs> put my fucking hood breath so nobody could see me. Because I just mm. tried to move to, I just moved to bare things, like got a few numbers. in the club and just on the way home on the bus drunk. Yeah, bruv, I'd just be on the bus, like literally. And I'm from London, the rays would be like from South London all the way to West London. So that's mm. like an hour and a half bus ride. I'd just be on the bus like, yo. Nobody knows where I'm going, bro. They used to be on the fucking bus. Yeah, I don't take mind. a girl back on the bus. No, no, no. no. <laughs> bro, that happened to me once, bro. Do you know what, yeah? That happened to me one time, yeah? One time I must have linked some ting in my ends, yeah? I linked some ting in my ends, and then literally, after that, I was going... I slept at house, and the next day I was going to the barber shop, yeah? So imagine we're both at the bus stop. <laughs> bro, imagine some, imagine some crackhead man said, bro, why are you at the bus stop with this beautiful woman, man? And I was like... Yo, what are you talking about? Man started yelling down the place. He's, he's, like, he's like, you ain't got a car? Where's your car? And I was thinking, man. And this thing's just looking at me like a dickhead. Like, we just beat the night before. And I literally just like... We give her a good beating. Of course, bruv. Like, literally. I was a bit True. too mad. I bit her nipple, bruv. And she, had, she had like a bit of blood coming out. I was I never charged up, bruv. I was Gold like, is on there I was like some animal, bruv. Like, you know when you're just trying to beat the thing, bruv? You're just like, she looks amazing. Like, I was, like, I was just biting her skin real hard, bruv. And the next day she had nipples bleeding. I was like... Sorry, like, do you know what I mean? But I was just on some <laughs> thing, bruv. I was on, bruv. You know when you've been waiting to be a thing for time, bruv, and you just yeah. see them naked, bruv, and you start turning into some mad, mad predator looking dude, bruv. Just like, Yo, bruv. I was on it, bruv. You know them ones? <laughs> you know them ones. That's not what you Hey. Bruv, it's mad. It's my dad, yeah, man. Yeah, man, as the hospitality, though, tell the people how we're dealing with you, man. Tell man them you lot have been there. blessed, you know, like, literally got the food and that. Mm, Shout chef out to Walla. Walla. Mm. I know the food there is banging. Juice. I saw it. I saw it on the snap as well. It looked nice. Oh, yeah, Could yeah. I get a thing, like a little... Yo, thing you can well. get anything. Yeah. Love for that. But the hospitality, do, do you know what the thing is? Like, I'm doing a, I'm doing a thing here. Yeah. Man, man them, London, Brum, whatever city you're from, bruv, come on this thing, bruv. Mm. Like I said, come on this podcast, yes, bruv. Chop yeah, shop podcast, bruv. It's a hard podcast, bruv. The thing about it as well, first thing I do when I look at things, yeah, mm. is like I like to look at people's production and things and I like yeah. to see their setup. When I saw you lot had this thing, I was like, this man got fucking banners, bruv. <laughs> what the fuck, bruv? I was like, when did you man. discover it? Like what? what I saw it on, um, I saw it, video? I saw it on YouTube. Okay, it was a okay. suggestion to me. Yeah, okay. yeah, it was yeah, a suggestion to me. It was the ones you did with, um, I saw the Mowgli one, shout out to Mowgli. I saw the mm. um, Miss Left Familiar one on there. That was a good she one. Us. She blocked and us. It, yeah, she blocked, she blocked you. She blocked Why? Us. Big error up, though. Big error up, same way. Big error up, Big error up, same way. Why'd she block you? <laughs> you wonder you're not trying to move to her. Some creepy shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. you're, <laughs> you're not trying to shoot your shot in it, bro. After that, you're like, yo. You did it, innit? That's what you did, bro. Mad unprofessional, bro. What are you doing? I didn't care, though. Yeah, like, I risked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I risked yeah. it all, though. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you thought, what? That's what happened, innit? I, that's, I know that's what happened. Like, fuck, fuck it. I'll risk it all, bro. Let me shoot my shot anyway. Like, fuck it. Yeah, Is that what you did? Nah, nah, nah. nah we're all good, man. Asleep. Hopefully, we're all good. Now. New Year, new vibes, innit? Yeah, new Year, new vibes. New Year, new vibes, man. I think 2021 has washed away everything. It's been a bad year, Fuck it, hell. Like, yeah, I saw them too, and I was like, yo, this is a good podcast. Mm, and I've just been like seeing what you guys are doing, but I know what it is because I saw like a bit inconsistent, but I know what the inconsistency is about. It's like securing a guest and all these different things. Then it's like, you don't want to just do it that's and then not I, make yeah. it live in it. Yes, so then I, I, I understood what it was. To be more like. Oh, so then you can do it as like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Men yeah. Them speaking. No one, we just. Yeah, and then occasinally if you got guests, you got yeah, guests, yeah, and you yeah, just keep kind of bounce better off my men. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Because I saw, I'd see like, Sometimes, like, you need, like, a little dynamic to just mm. keep it yeah, flowing yeah, in yeah, it, do you know what I mean? 
And then sometimes you're like, you're not having a good day or whatever. You're just like, ah, oh, fuck it, man. Fuck this. Geezer, somebody man. just balance it. Have you ever thought that about yeah, someone? Yeah, when you're chilling? yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, like, when I'm in podcast right, mode, sometimes I'm looking. I, yeah, should, I don't know if I should say this. You know what yeah, I mean? Sometimes I'm lost. Some days I'm lost, though. Like, sometimes. Yeah, you know, but sometimes, like, listen. You've been here with me. I'm smoking weed, drinking Remy today. You yeah. know what it is. So I'm chilling. Sometimes I'm really getting like proper high and, uh, and yeah. I might forget what I got to say. You know what mm. I mean? So how do you, do you just do you just bring it back or you just yes, like, just bring it up? back, rope it back in? Yo, Keem, mm. what was he saying again? Yeah. Uh, got you, you get got me? You got say yeah, that, that again, works, innit? Yeah. That works better. That works better. You know I mean? So if it's just mm. one on one now and I'm chatting shit. That's what I'm saying. Like there's times when my mind's then, blank, but he will say something. Then I yeah, just yeah, back in it's better like that. It just keeps the energy flowing. Then you got like two different personalities and all that, so it it makes the thing a bit better. But when I when I saw this, I thought to myself, I just put I just put that pull up tune like seven days ago on my own channel and it's got like it's coming up to like 60,000 and that's the first time I've ever had that much views on my thing and it's working like people are just embracing it mm. all the comments is positive and all that stuff but the way people reacted was like right like you can actually spit but obviously they're thinking they saw me doing my my Instagram videos they saw me on back chat so a lot of mm. people don't even realize that I was doing music way before that's mm. the reason I started so people were surprised yeah, yeah. so I think a part of that being surprised is bare people was fucking with it mm. so when I saw that I was like who do I want to what podcast do I like that I would jump on that mm-hmm. I'm going to use as a, a, a part of my pro row run as well. And I was like, the first one was you. And I went for your messages. And I was like, I just messaged you back. And I was like, yeah, let me go. So pull up, Big Man Ting, pull up. Mm-hmm. It's on my channel. It's got like 50, 60,000 or whatever. So make sure you check that out. Big Man Ting. So mm-hmm. Are you going to juggle the music and, and, and uh, what are you, are you, what, the, the do you know what? The, the, you, the, YouTube thing, well. the, the YouTube thing, to be fair, I look at the YouTube thing as building up your brand. Because mm-hmm. at the mm-hmm. end of the day, this is what anybody watching is, even for you, man, yeah, the best thing to do, yeah, I don't care what nobody says, even if you start off, with only a hundred people liking your shit, yeah. Mm. Build up your own shit. Mm. That's Just what build I say up your own man, shit. You know, with the whole music thing. Pull it on your own channel. Build, build up your own shit, yeah. Because like the main thing about that is, yeah, you gotta look at it like this. Like it's the the lockdown thing right now. And a lot of people are signed to labels, a lot of people are signed to different things, a lot of people have signed real contracts of different things or sponsorships. So they can't do nothing now. They can't mm. put anything out now. Mm. But if you have your own channel, you can control what the fuck happens. If you get in a madness, you can go in front of people and let mm. them know from your point of view. It's not other people controlling it for yeah, you and yeah, yeah. other people fucking up what you're doing. And then at the same time, with me, I just look at it like this, brother. I'll be honest with you. I'd rather have a thousand people that really fuck with me mm-hmm. than have to beg someone to get their hundred thousand. Yeah, I'd rather get my yeah, hundred yeah, my yeah. thousand that fuck with me mm-hmm. because then I can mm-hmm. reach out to them people. It's real support. Mm-hmm. It's a, a thousand people that really like you. They That's really true. fuck with you. So do you put your music on your own channel? Yeah. yeah now yeah, yeah. everything before that was on a link up thing. And shout out mm-hmm. to Tada and shout out to Joey Clipstar. They're bridging for mine throughout mm-hmm. the years. They always supported me when Joey I did my Clips thing. Though. So they're always blessed to me. But with the new song, it's kind of like a rebrand. Mm. I never I lost the passion for doing music because I just thought to myself it's a hard game bruv and I said mm. it's, it's, it's going to be a long thing for me yeah, but then yeah. when I had this moment I thought, and I was angry at the time mm. so I just went and wrote the thing and I just put it out there and because it worked mm. I was like now it's kind of reignited my so thing what, to do what I started then? for so what, what, what's, what, what's now, the now I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm just going to be promoting this shit hard the next step bruv yeah I want to get on a Kenny all starting mm. yeah because I can really spit but obviously, it's like I have to let people know that all over a fucking game, like because mm. people don't yeah, know me yeah. and it. People don't know me for that. They just know me from Instagram or back chat. So now it's going back. I'm just doing what I started my thing for. So now is it strictly music, no more? No, 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 no. I'm gonna do. I'm still gonna continue the podcast thing. I'm still gonna mm. continue that stuff because people like that shit. Mm. It's almost mm. like it would be fucked up like if you guys decided to. Story time, man. Your yeah, story yeah. All of them, yeah. Funny, like but like dating a cracker. Yeah, I'm gonna, bruv. <laughs> the crack. Did I? Which one was that? When I when <laughs> I linked that nitty <laughs> thing. Yeah, 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 bruv. Like this is the mat. This one said I don't do the Facebook, Instagram, hollering at chat to girl. Like it was just the thing that hollered at me on Facebook years ago. Yeah, and we met up, and then when she was just driving in the car, and she said she worked in a bank, and she got fired from the bank. She was doing fraud at the bank. Yeah, and then literally we went to her, her yard. Everything was good. We beat. Yeah. Next thing, this woman opens up her cupboard. Yeah, she got weed in there. She got crack in there and big things. Cause her brother's selling it. Mm. And next thing, she was like, she just started getting high, and she was like, "You want to try this?" I was like, "Bev." She just started money in the pipe in front of you. Bev, yeah. And I was like, "Yo, man's legit slept with a fucking crackhead." <laughs> I was like, "This is my life, bruv. And literally, then she dropped me back. She was dropping me back home, but she was in the car, bruv, and she was swaying in the middle of the road like this. Mm. And I was like, yo. And I was like, on edge. And you know the ones where I was far away from my yard? I was like, no, nah, no, nah, you can drop me off here. She was like, you don't even live here, though. And I was like, no, 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 no. But, 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 I, but I, there's a train station there. She's like, nah, mm. nah, babes. You're all right, you know. And she's like, but you got such good skin. And I'm like, bitch, keep your eyes on the road, bruv. What the fuck? You? And she's like, and then, brother, I'm not even lying to you, yeah? Like, 
She was trying to chill for some long thing. I don't know where I pulled this excuse from. I was like, my mum's making dinner. I need to get home. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to pull it old school, brother. I had to oh, act like I was a 15-year-old. I was like, yeah, my mum's my mom's going to call me. She's, dinner's at home. So literally, she's like, are you sure, brother? I never spoke to this bitch in my life oh, again. Uh, that, oh, my God. Like, this is the second nitty thing. I didn't even... This is <laughs> a new <laughs> story. Yeah, 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 the yeah, one yeah. you're talking about is the one where yeah, I was dating an yeah, older yeah, thing. Yeah, it's sort of and then I went to her house and then she told me... Wait there, wait there, wait there. minutes, bro. Persistent offender. Bro, like, literally, why not happening? Yeah, she was... How many counts you got, brother? Rev, two, three. Fam, this what this next nah. thing. She like, well, you can like can see the story time, but basically, like, long story short, because it's a long story. Basically, I was at this thing's house. Everything was fine. We've seen each other for two, three months or six months. And the next thing is, she told me I went to her house. And so you never know she was a crack. No, she was she was put this together nice, bro. Her weave was beautiful. Her face was beautiful. Everything was nice. She had a yard in Chelsea. I was like, the yard is beautiful. Everything is nice. Mm. And then one day, like after six months, I just went to her house and my woman had cane rolls, bro. Like she had the dusty, <laughs> she had the dusty Jim Jones cane rolls, bro. They weren't even the nice things. I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Bro? I was like, and then she was wavy already, and I was like, yo, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon, bro. Why are you wavy already? And she was like. Yeah, babe, like you look really nice, you know. I was like, What's going on with this woman, Rev? And then she's like, Can you do me a favor? And I was like, What? She goes, I got my dealer coming downstairs. Like, can you yes, just go downstairs yes, and pick way, it up yeah. for me? And I was like, Pick what up? I was like, Well, you got weed. And she was like, She's like, Nah, baby, it's just a little bit of coke. And I was like, What? I was like, You want me to go downstairs and get cocaine or something? I was like, Fam, this ain't the one. So I, I, I went, Yeah, yeah, let me get it. I went downstairs. She had a front door and a back door. I went through the back door, then peeped around the corner, bruv. All I saw was two big black. Black mm -hmm. fucking Range Rovers yeah, and yeah. a few men them standing outside there. I was like, yo, bruv, the way I did a Slinford Christie Usain Bolt sprint, bruv, to the bus stop, bruv, I, I legged it, bruv. I was like, you never yeah. beat it. Like, nah, bruv, fuck that, bruv. <laughs> I, was like, I sprinted to the fucking bus. I didn't know what was happening right now, bruv. I sprinted to the fucking bus stop, got on my bus. I was chilling there the whole night, bruv. I didn't hear from that bitch till six months later. She was like, oh, I hadn't heard of you from a long time. Like, I hadn't heard from you. She's like, she's like, remember that court case I was telling you about? Because you come with me. And I was like, no? Yeah. I was like, what cool case? Because she had gun bucked somebody in her area over her daughter. She basically, some guy tried to move to her daughter and then she went, I don't know what this woman is involved in. Like I said, I just met her in the fucking shepherd's bush, bruv. And she said she gun bucked the guy that tried to move to her daughter and got rude and literally said she had a court so case a coming. big woman. Bigger it was a big woman. woman, yeah, yeah. She was a big woman. So like, when she called me six months later, she said, are you going to come to my court case? I was like, no. And then hang up the phone, bruv. Mm. Court case? So I'm going to shut up there like some dickhead. Like, yeah, yeah. where is that? You give some um, relationship advice on your page as well, isn't it? Yeah, bruv, that's, the, that's kind of the thing that kind of busts me in a way. Mm. Because I just do... People thought they were fake, but they're actually real people messaging mm. me. I've had a few celebrity people message me. Mm. And like they've told me then to... One guy, he paid, he paid me money to basically talk about his current situation. He was going to repost the video on his Instagram. Yeah? yeah? But basically, he was low-key like throwing jabs at his girlfriend that mm. cheated on him, his woman. And he was basically... Saying personal things about parents, yeah. so and I was like, bro, "Are you sure you want me to?" You? I was like, "I'm not gonna cuss nobody's parents, but he just wanted to me to say like she cheated on me and she was at this restaurant." And yeah. be so, I was like, "Bro, are you sure you want me to be so specific, specific about mm. this? This is a bit mad." And he's like, "Yeah, man, do it." And I'm like, "Are you sure, bro?" And he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> so I was like, "It's for money, isn't it?" So I was like, "All right, cool, bro." So I made him. I, I'm not putting on my fucking shit. He's saying it. Yeah. So then I sent it to him, and he said, "You know what, bro?" I've changed my mind about that, man. I think if I do this, it's going to get me into a lot of trouble, so don't worry about it. So what red flags do you avoid then? Bruv, I had a guy one time. He basically, his girlfriend was cheating on him. Yeah, he was a boxer. I think he was like a, 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 I'm not sure if he was an amateur boxer or just like a journeyman boxer. And he messaged me and said his girl was cheating on him. And then what are the, uh, and do I think this? So I was also, and I was like, your girlfriend went on a weekend with her girls and she aired your call for like a whole weekend. And he's like, mm. yeah. And I was like, this is a bit bait. Like, what's mm. going on, bruv? And he said, yeah, she's been hanging out for her best guy friend. I was like, this is a bit obvious. I said, it kind of sounds a bit mad, bruv. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Then he told me. Now, he then, meant, what are your red flags in a relationship? What, what do you, you avoid? What, what do you, you mean? Bruv, to be honest with you, my main thing now, yeah. Skinny like, girl. Yeah, I don't, I don't, shout out to the skinny things, yeah. But I like, love the slim girl, just, man. You like skinny girls? No, yeah, skinny man. and slim is a bit different. I so don't what's, 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 same, what's your definition of slim, though? <laughs> Boy, so I, I can't take these types of six, 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 six to eight for me. Six to, what, stone? <laughs> this is dying, yeah, bro. Size, six to eight stone. Oh, I was about to say. Oh, my bad. I thought you said six to eight stone, bro. I was like, fuck, bro. Yo, bro. Fuck, them malnourished things, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, six to eight. Oh, six to eight. What's what? So... That's like I don't run on numbers like that though. I just yeah, look at it. Yeah, six, six, six and a ten, six and a ten, six and a ten. Yeah. Six six and a ten okay, that's yeah, a slim. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's a tick then. Tickers. A tickers. Like. Yeah. You like thick? What about you? Slim. I just like nice things. Yeah. White or black? White or black things? 
You look like you love a white woman, bro. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you Jamaican? Are you Jamaican? Are you Jamaican? Are you Jamaican? <laughs> nah, I'm offended. Are you Jamaican? Yeah, B. They'll, Jamaican dudes are the low key ones. Like, yeah, they'll go. One. I'm offended. I'm just saying, though, I'm just saying, because that's no, how bro, people trick me up, bro, because you look like you're hella pro black, but it's, it's <laughs> them ones, you know. My man is sending for me. I'm not even, but. <laughs> nah, why, 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 why is it? Why is it? Yeah, they're Everybody's not, laughing, though. Because like, they're not. Because <laughs> they're not. Yeah, that one hit my chest, that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you like black things, you like black things. Yeah, nice, man, nice, my, nice, black, nice. my black beauty. Shake Obviously, I love all Gallum. Of course, you got your. But the black Gallum is my Gallum. Nice, now. How about you? Me. Black and mixed race specialist. <laughs> can't, can't get white girl, but I don't know what it is, but white girl don't like me, blood. I don't what know you what mean? it is. But uh, the, you know what it is, yeah? Go on. See, <laughs> you don't fit see the into white, get, Yeah, they're not into me. You get me? You know what it is? Because I put on the act, you get me? So I'd be like, oh, are you all right, babe? <laughs> 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 well, you should do the sweet boy thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be myself. I don't want to come as a... But how do I look like I like... I, 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 Bruh, because uh, you know what it is, yeah? It's uh, always the most pro-black brothers I know. <laughs> They're always like white things, bro. Once I'm out of four, but the white get them are good. good no, no, of course, of course. Shout out to the white thing, bro. This, like, but shout out to the thick white thing. Was you saying that my <laughs> preference is white girls? Bruv, I'm telling you. Is that yeah, what you're saying to I've me? I've had a conversation, yeah, with the most Rastafarian <laughs> dude, yeah, bruv. Man was telling me, man was giving me the facts, bruv. Man was giving me the facts, bruv. Man was talking about his third eye, the eye of power, all of that, bruv. And man was talking about the most, the most high, the most, he told me to love my skin. He started cussing me because I, I was half Asian, started telling me like, do you know where your people come from? I, did, I was like, I don't know, bruv. And he was gunning me for the thing. And next thing, yeah, bruv, man's baby mom's some white thing. I was like, fam, the milk and magnesia. You don't get out of here, bro. <laughs> that's how he's moving, but shout out to the white things, bro. Nah, like, shout literally, out to some Chris yo. white things. Shout out to them. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. why you never know. Like, even with you, for example, mm. I was thinking to myself, I'd, I'd, like, for example, I'd think the white things would love you. Nah, bro. bro mm. listen, you must not be in the right circle, you, you know. You're not in the nah, right circle. Nah, bro, listen, there. I've been around, but man, no my thing, bro. <laughs> I could be with the gangbangers, them, then I could be with the <laughs> white bro, bro, you know, them, oh, I got you, got you. To be fair, the gangbanging things sometimes work, you know. My brother used to tell, nah, right I used to, used to do this, bro. I used to tell things that I was a major drug dealer, bro, in my ends, bro. And it worked. <laughs> I said, yeah. they'd be like, what do you do for a living, man? Don't worry what man's doing, bro. Don't worry. They used to tell them I'm selling mad keys, bro, and they get hella horny, bro. Hella <laughs> you know I mean, I've been telling them all the things. i be like, yeah, man's out here, bro. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I got all my brothers is doing things like that, yeah. <laughs> but me, I just get in gal, you know what I'm going to say? But then I'll just say that because then it works, bro. Some things mm. love a bad man. I got a brethren, yeah. He got attacked, yeah. He got attacked by a traveler in the end. Traveler beat him up, bruv. The traveler walked up to him and said, Do you know how to fight? They used to do that at mines. They'd be like, Do you know how to fight? And he'd be like, Yeah. And he just punched you in the face, bruv. Yeah. <laughs> and then literally, he got in a fight with a traveler, bruv. His nose was all bloody and shit. He went back to his girl. He went to his girl's house and she was like, What happened to you? And he said, I got oh, I got in a fight, da, 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 et cetera, et cetera. The girl literally looked at him, yeah. And literally, she literally wiped the blood from his nose, yeah. And literally he said he was fucking about. She says he's never seen a girl that wet in her life, bruv. Mm. Just because she thought he was on some bad man thing. Bruv. So <laughs> once he told me that, bruv, I start telling things like, yeah, man's, man's doing this, don't worry, what I'm doing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, bruv, some man will say that's a girl clown thing, though. So I don't I give a fuck, bruv. It's getting me some <laughs> pussy, bruv. I don't give a fuck what anybody <laughs> says about <laughs> nothing, bruv. <laughs> but because the thing is, yeah, this is this happens to me a lot, yeah. Mm. I get a lot of problems from men them that dislike me from back in the day <laughs> because mm. I was linking a girl. But mm. the thing is, with me, this is a shout out to the man them, yeah. Like, life is bigger than a gal, bruv. Don't mm. ever get yourself in situations over a gal, bruv. Yeah, because if you get in a problem with, with an ex-man over a gal, next thing you go to jail, she's going to fuck that guy anyway. Oh, well, you got kids? Mm. Nah. Oh, seriously. Like, she's going to fuck that guy anyway, mm. and you're going to be fucking fucked up, and she's fucking bare people, bruv. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will never get in beef with other girls in my life. Ever, 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 ever. I will never do that. Has a man ever phoned your phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time, I, I used to do raves back in the day. I used to do um, my own raves and shit in West London and about London. And one time, I went to a rave it was in Northwest London, it was in Halsden or Wembley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was all the Northwest people in the rave. Yeah. And then like I went there and then there was a thing there, she was Chris. And she was looking at me the whole night. And I don't know why I did this. This happened to me a few times. You shouldn't really do this, yeah. I just started lipsing this thing in the rave. <laughs> she was lipsing me right in the rave. Are I don't know. Are you gonna take the vaccine? <laughs> nah, fam. Nah. nah, fam. Well, you just lips and randoms in the clubs. Bro, like even still, bro, that will that better for me than the vaccine. You gonna take the vaccine? Nah, nah, my Rasta fam. You Good, don't, need, don't, yeah, say don't that. yeah, never take that shit, bro. Nah, everyone's gonna take the vaccine. Man. Everyone's got their price. Lord, this <laughs> what do you mean? Once they start locking up, kicking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go that's how, that's how they'll get you. That's how they'll yeah, get you. Concerts and shit like that. Yeah, that's how they'll get you. But like, so, hold on. you just lips and randoms. Yeah, nah, lip, bro. I'll tell you another story about that. But you never lipped up in a club. A big man, me. 
club? Bro, I've never done that, fam. Never. My, where's my cousin? Oh, my cousin's not in here. Still. But what? Basically, I just, <laughs> I just started lips in this thing in Arabia, and there was bare, bare, bare people in Arabia, whatever. And then in the night, the same, the next day, I got a message from a random guy mm. on my Facebook. But this is the thing, no knock to this guy because I have a lot of respect to this guy because this is how man them should move. My guy messaged me and he said, yo, no beef or nothing because he was from Northwest, I'm from West. But I got a lot of friends from Northwest. Oh, like most of my DJ friends were from North, are from Northwest. Yeah, got friends from everywhere. Most people think I'm from South. Mm-hmm. But like, I, he messaged me, he said, Shraf, he goes, was you at a rave with a girl, <laughs> with this girl? And he sent me a profile. So and he my goes, man came to him man to man. Yeah, he said, he literally just sent me a thing. He goes, mm. he goes, I'm not, no beef anything. Mm. I just want a real honest answer from you. Mm. Did, was you kissing this girl on the rave? And I said, yeah. And I said, whatever, whatever. And he's like, respect for that. And I said, who's that? And he said, oh, it's my fiance. <laughs> See, some people say it's snitching because you meant to check in with the girl. Fuck, I didn't know, know that, bitch. I just met her the night before, bruv. Like, you I didn't know her. Did you, did you mash it? No, no, no. I just, because oh. I'll be honest with you. Once I say that, bruv, like, man, them will kill you over their wifey, bruv. I'm not trying to die over over. Oh, girl, but did you? No, no, no. Oh, no. I, I never, because that kind of hotted up my whole thing in the first place. Because mm. obviously, she's not going to do anything with me did now. Did you get a number or anything? Not on the night, yeah, I did. And then you went and said, yeah, you was lit. Yeah, the next, because the thing is, yeah, I usually got a roster of things. I'd have like nine <laughs> or ten things in it. So, so to, to be chasing man's wifey, to be chasing man's wifey yeah, when yeah, I got yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? You like them talks, eh? Yeah, well, you them type of men, you'd be fucking people's baby mums and shit. I used to, not no more though, but I retired, man. It's long, bro. Bev, do you ever yeah. get in problems over that? Nah, but I was a small And this is a small, this is a small, pl- uh, Birmingham is a yeah, small place. What I've learned, yeah, <laughs> you lot will get to people real quick, bruv. It's just a yeah. phone call away. Somebody knows this brother yeah, from this yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. So you lot, so I always, up here when I came up here, bruv, I used to link uh, uh, Yardy thing here. I linked a few Yardy things up here. And mm-hmm. she had a baby for him. He was a top Yardy man, bruv. I think he was a top mm-hmm. Gaza gun man, bruv. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> but like, literally, I don't know, bruv. Mm-hmm. But like, literally, yeah, I just said to myself, from people like that, yeah, them men there take their baby mom serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't matter if they, 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 the relationship ended 10 years ago, they see them, that's their thing to this day. You can't chat to their thing, yeah? So, like, literally, I must have seen this thing. I must have been seeing this thing, and then literally, we've seen each other for a while, and she said, yeah, I'm back with my baby father, and that was it. The relationship was done. <laughs> and I didn't press the matter, bruv. I, I went on a thing, and I saw the man, and I was like, yo, allow it, bruv. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But up here, I don't think you can really get away with doing that up here too tough. Just going out to operate, man. That means you just need to know bad people that will basically <laughs> <laughs> have your back if something goes wrong. That's have right. you ever done that? So much. What's that? Think somebody's baby mama or something. Nah, man. Nah, man. I don't mean like that. <laughs> Why is everybody laughing? I don't believe this guy, man. I don't what kind of thing you're dealing, dog? <laughs> you're asking the wrong dog. Uh, you're asking you see, the wrong you're one. Deceptive. You see what I'm saying? That's what I was asking, my man. Yeah, asking, yeah, asking, yeah, is, you know what it is? You're seasoned, I'm, not me. I've, I've retired. Right, that's what I'm saying. saying. So, are you like a, are you like a link bear type girl type thing or just one nah, woman type nah, thing? Nah. I'm unavailable, my brother. What do you mean? You're in a relationship. I'm unavailable, my brother. You know that could mean anything. That could mean relationship. No, that could be unavailable. I mean, obviously, I'm not, I'm not in your, you're slinging my thing everywhere and whatnot, whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just unavailable, you know what I'm saying to so Condoms or no condoms, back when you was doing your thing? <laughs> bareback or no bareback? Boy, what's he dealing? <laughs> I'm saying, bro. Obviously, I'm it. I got brothers, they don't fuck with condoms on any level. <laughs> you? Yeah, now I do, bruv. You've got to be very careful, bruv. How many scares you had? How many scares you had? Bruv, I've, I've, bruv, I've caught chlamydia like about four times. <laughs> Fucking no. That's what I'm saying. saying. Let me tell man them now. Let me tell man them <laughs> now in the camera. Yo. I've never had an STD in never my in life. Life. Never in your life. In my life. Right. Yeah. Let the law strike me down now. Yo, have you? you know, a man told me. No, 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 no. A man, man nothing. Eh? I'm talking to you. Nah, nah, nah. What, 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 what I'm touch up. This is what you <laughs> What, lights, light, lights, light, lights, light, lights, light, light, light. You got some light. Light tap. But yeah, what? A man said, bruv, a man said, if you ain't caught the thing, you ain't done enough. I don't give a fuck then. I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough then. Because you know what I'm saying to you? I I'm, I feel proud to say, yeah. hand on my heart, God strike me down now, dreads them come off my head, yeah? yeah. I never had an STD, fam. Ever. Ever. Yeah, my but my body is never bun me. Yeah? <laughs> never stinging, none, none of them funny no, business. It's a, it's a mad life, you know. <laughs> to the point where now... I'm proud bruv, of that. Bruv, even when I wear condoms, I'm, I'm weird now. I'm weary now. When I'm nasty. Bruv, so you're a condom, <laughs> you've always been a condom. Bruv, I've never had an STD. That's my answer to the everything here. I've never had an STD in my life. So you never, so you, you, I don't know, does that mean you ain't bad back in time? That's just the answer, innit? I'm giving, so I don't know, innit? This is what we're gonna do with <laughs> that, innit? Oh, fucking, fucking. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like, you know what the maddest thing is, yeah? What are you saying? 
the maddest thing about that, yeah, Ever. to the point, yeah, when I caught the fourth time, I just knew. Fourth! I put my dick in there, bro. Fourth! I got the infection already, bro. Yeah. I slid my dick in I was like, yo. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I'm out there, bro. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out here, bro. It's done. I'm cancelled, bro. I put it in there, bro. Literally, as soon as I finished, bro, I went to the bathroom and I was like, yo, this thing is tingling already, bro. Man got that Amazon Prime clip in here, bro. Instant things, bro. Instant, bro. Hey, that's what I'm saying. It was an instant thing. Touch yeah. wood, though. Touch wood, bro. I'm touching, bro. <laughs> and the maddest thing, how I always found I had it was for a girl. Mm. Because I'd be linking multiple things. You text things. the thing after and say, "Yo, you give me the shit." Or no, bro, it's, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> the, relationship, the relationship is over, bro. There's no more conversation. What, what are we gonna talk about? I, I've done this. You have it. Like I'm not gonna. You, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have to go through the things I'm seeing and ask mm. individually. So I just let them know, like, it's over. It's gone. Mm. Then you have to shout me in a few months. And half the time with things though. So wait there, four times. Yeah, four times, bro. First time, first time I got it because I beat a thing in Tinseltown toilets. <laughs> Second time I got it. I got it because I cheated on my long time girl. No, first time I got it was cheating on my long time girlfriend. Second time I got it was in Tinseltown. Mm. Third time I got it was, I don't even know, I think it was from a married Turkish thing. Mm. And then the fourth time I got it, I literally just think like, I think it was from the same thing. Mm. So same you thing. got it from this, you, you double back, like you get it and go again. No, no, no. I no the thing is, I didn't know it was because I've seen oh. a lot of things. But then the fourth time mm. I got, we got it, she must have said something to me that made me snap. She said, she must have been like, oh, I must have asked her on the level, did you give this to me? And she said, nah, you're the only guy I've ever fucked in my house outside my husband. I was like, we didn't fuck in your house. <laughs> I was like, we fucked in a hotel, bruv. What are you talking about your house? And then instantly, once you said that, I was like, bruv, it's you. You gave it to me. But now, bruv, now I don't play for it. Now it's like, even, bruv, now I'm wearing two condoms on one, bruv. I'm wearing a hazmat outfit, bruv. I've got a biohazard suit when I'm fucking, bruv. I mean, it's, bruv, it's, you just got to be careful now. How many counts you got? You me? Mm. Told you touch up the ones, bro. Oh, one, one touch, one <laughs> touch. One one touch. One touch. Yeah, Which, bro. like, did you did you do the online testing? Nah, nah. This or you gotta go to the, the wellness day, center bro, in Erdington, bro. You gotta go to the bait thing, bro. <laughs> I didn't know about that. The wellness, the wellness center in Erdington. You gotta go there real early, bro. You gotta go at nine o'clock in the morning when nobody sees you, bro. Ah, <laughs> that real quick, bro. Early, bro. Hooded up, bro. Just sitting there, hella quiet, bro. You go there <laughs> early, bro. Give me your name, because, bro. You, yeah, nah, you gotta give your real name in it because they check on the computer, bro. But you gotta go there early, bro. You gotta go there. Leave you, you gotta be there eight thirty, bro. Eight thirty, because as soon as nine o'clock hits, bro, everybody's in there. Next, you got families and shit in there. You gotta go early, bro. Early, bro. That well-being center is a life I come all the way to London just to go there. <laughs> Nobody see me. But then somebody did see me. A girl. I, 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 was, I remember when I was there. This happened a few years ago. A thing tried to move to me after I left. I walked down the stairs in the wellness center because you know it's like a few floors. That's some double down, dose. That I don't know. I walked down the stairs, yeah, mm. and this thing ran behind me. She's like, "Oh my god, I follow you on Instagram. What's your number?" I was like. Bruv, I ain't want your number. You're up in here with me, bruv. What the fuck else have you got? You're up here itching and burning with other people, bruv. I don't want you. That's mad. To say that's the best connection, you know. No, fuck know. that, bruv. <laughs> the maddest thing about men as well, when in London is one, Paddington Clinic. Man didn't want to chat to you in the clinic. <laughs> man didn't want to be like, yo, fam, what, what, what you got, bruv? I'm like, fam, what, I don't know what I got. Like, what you got? Man would be fully in there doing a the whole comedy routine yeah. and chatting about their thing, which girl they fucked and all that shit. And you're just sitting there like, yo, these dirty dudes, bruv. I just don't want to go in the bathroom and then go get my check and man tells me I got that instant Amazon Prime AIDS, bruv. That's mad. Fuck all of that, bruv. The man will fully chat to you about who they was fucking, how many girls they were fucking. Like, yeah, you get me. For nah, bruv. Yeah. That's mad. Mm. Let this guy zone the fuck out, bruv. Look at him. Nah, because, yo, I'm stressed. He said uh, um, the white girl loves me. I love the white girl. I'm stressed, I'm stressed about that. No, 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 man. man. Because no, the thing right, is, man. all of them, like, no, you said you got you know what it is today. I'm looking all nice and that, but usually when I'm looking all rough and that, the white guy don't love me and that. Like you know, you know. What do you mean you got a, like sweet boy up? <laughs> Kinda, but you know what I mean. You so know how, so when you what's what's a sweet boy to you though? Because people have a different a sweet boy to me. Them man that go out showing their ankles and that. Mm. Oh, you mean like this, bro? Yeah. Fucking this with these tight jeans. Yeah, but like with the low do you know what this is? A, this is what we got to talk about, yeah. Birmingham, yeah. My ex didn't cuss me out for this, yeah, mm. because she she was from up here, yeah. And she just cussed me about my jeans, bruv. I literally mm. had to go and get some mad boot cuts, bruv. Just no, not boot cuts. Not boot cuts, but they're just tight, though, innit? So like what, nice what fit is this? I need to know. These are straight jeans. These straight are straight, jeans. you know, fitted, slim fitted, straight. I don't so know. So what's that? Is that Zara, River Island? Can you go bust, my brother? Yo, you got money, bruv. That's yeah. money. Nah, but that's yeah, £100 for jeans, bruv. That's mad. That's a lot of money, bruv. These I are like I'm £40. I'm a Zara man, so yeah, I'm £40. So you're £40, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're not like a killer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. No, no, but to be fair, that fit is just right. That's what I'm trying to say. That fit is just right. 
They're These are what like good. carrots. Are they called carrots? No, I don't know what the fuck they're called. <laughs> the carrots are there. tight. They come like carrot, innit? Do you know what? Do you know what the problem with me is? Yeah, <laughs> when I go to the Zara thing, I don't know sizes and I don't know things. I yeah? think you need to so find I'll just go, bro. Last year, do you know what I was doing, bro? I was, you see, when you, I was watching Love Island, bro, mm-hmm. and I was watching them man swag, yeah, because I don't know how to dress. <laughs> in it. So I was like, this man's wearing this man's wearing a white jeans with an open shirt thing. I was like, let me go River Island and buy that shit, bro. I buy that shit for looking hella awkward in my area, bro. People are like, yo, bro, I can see your change in your pocket, bro. Mm-hmm. Veins in your jeans, yeah, that's bro. What I'm but like, literally. With the fashion thing, I'm not. I don't really understand mm. fashion. I kind of just watch what people mm. are doing and I just go with that. True. Do you know what I mean? True that. True that. True that. True that. True that. That's the thing. But bruv, I love this thing, bruv. Like literally, I hope you lot get more fucking guests coming onto this thing because it's a live fucking it's podcast. A touch, fam. It's a live respect, podcast. Man. I hope you it's get more, vibe, more fucking man. people, bruv. Yeah, yeah, man, you trying, know what's man, going on. We've been chatting for fucking time, bro. Long yeah, no, no, we've been doing our thing, man. That's the good, that's the vibe, man. You know what, you know how it goes, whole of vibe, yeah, right. drink of juice. I didn't um, even open the pad. Earlier on, you said people get, like, a bit intimidated or they get, like, a bit stiff. Yeah. yeah some man, like, some man have been sweating in the chair. Yeah, get hot You know what it is, though? It's like, it's, it's man with skeletons in their closet. You get what I'm trying to say? Oh, I got you, I got you, I like got to you. dig up skeletons. <laughs> yeah, you know <laughs> what I'm trying to say? Because <laughs> you lot do your research, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever, like, caught, you know, have you ever caught somebody out on their thing and that's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah plenty of times. They say we don't want to talk about that. Don't so talk about that. But I'm not the one... To, I'm not going to be like, oh, if you say you don't want to talk about it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to, like... Still easy in um, that's not the style. So you don't do the proper research on them. You just surprise it with them. Yeah, that's mad. That's what I think. People that don't really can't really do the interview thing and they're not comfortable in their skin. It's a bit mm. it's a bit difficult. Like with me, I like going everywhere by myself. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I just okay. feel like... Surprising he came here by himself. How come? Why? Not like, because I told you, people usually come with a plus one, yeah, two, yeah, five, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Nah, but I don't you like doing mean? that because I just feel like the people that are around you is like a reflection of you. So mm. then if I come here for a bunch of dickheads, now you don't think I'm a dickhead. <laughs> now I thought he was going to come up with girl, to be fair. No, 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 no. Because, like then, now because then the vibe's different when <laughs> there's a girl around. Like, man, them start acting a bit different. You know? <laughs> start talking to the girl, man, them start doing a bit weird. Trust me, you want to tell us about the comedy. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Man, start moving. Yeah, no. And the <laughs> thing is, and the, the difficult situation about that, though, that's when, if that's your wifey, that's when the test, bruv, that's when yeah. you'll get tested, bruv. Your wifey's smiling at a man too hard. You're just like, yo. And you can't say anything. There's going to be a difficult car ride home, bruv. You're just looking at her like, why was you. Why was you trying to mind, man? Like, you know them ones. You're not talking about. You start getting hella insecure. Like, Ooh, let me see your phone. Well, let me see your phone. Let me see. Let me see your phone. You start getting hella angry. Go for a follow as you should follow me. Yeah. Do you know what? I used to do that though. I can't even lie. I used to do that with certain. Things. You know when you like a thing and you're just like, and you go for the photos like light skin man 32. You're like, yo, why are you following mm. this man? Like his bare hands got mad muscles and tattoos, <laughs> bruv. Like, so what puts you off a thing then, man? What makes you think, yo, you know what? I can't if you, fuck with if you. Fuck, if you fucked one of my friends, then I can't fuck with you. Mm. If you fuck one of my friends, it can't happen. Like, I'm not, I could, we're gonna beat. Mm. Like another thing I'll do, I'll never move to another guy. Like, if I see you come here for a girl and then mm. three months later I see the girl by so I'm not gonna chat to her. Because you, you, Or if she chats to you. Nah, it's not. Because it's DM, just, it's DMs just, the next day. You gotta be ruthless with it. Man. Nah, man, because you know the man. thing is, like, I know men get a bit sensitive about women when it comes mm. to women. And to be fair, it's like, if you've had it, why the fuck do I want it? Mm. I don't, I don't want that. What, what I'm gonna do, get bragging rights fucking somebody I used to see. It's not gonna make me feel better about my life. That's stupid. As a man ever said, like, yo. That thing there gave me the wickedest fuck, you know. It was mad. Wait, wait, wait. Like, you know when a man them come back gassing it up? And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then you're thinking, bro, you know. Oh now, I don't understand. Like, if a man them hype up a girl and then, nah, I want to fuck her. Nah, man. I've heard it. Nah, I don't want to mm-hmm. do that, bruv. That nah. means, like, my girl's had your balls all over a fucking pillow and shit, bruv. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to fucking do that, bruv. Like, um, now I'm up in your house and your fucking essence, bruv. You've got your fucking <laughs> one million perfume all trickling off my <laughs> skin but yeah, yeah. bad vibes fuck that nah, <laughs> but I think song. that's my one red flag if you fucked one of my virgins then it's just gonna be a long we, thing okay. if like I, if I find out afterwards will you still mm. fuck them or you, what are you talking about being with them or fucking them even fucking them so okay. like, you, you reckon you ever settle down and have a missus in that yeah yeah of course but I just feel in this day and age you gotta be careful bruv you gotta be so careful bruv you don't know I feel like sometimes you don't know a thing really until you've been there for, for like a year or two you don't mm. really know her. I, yeah, you yeah, could yeah. be for Ting for like two years. I would say to you, live with them to be fair. Yeah, d- exactly. Go holiday and all that stuff. You yeah, could be yeah. for Ting for two years, right? You could bring her here right now before the man them. And then one of your boys at the end tell you something different about her. Now you yeah. see her differently. Now you've well, learned no, no, something no, different. The man them can't tell me nothing about my babes. What do you mean? <laughs> the man them can't tell me nothing about my babes. That's all I'm just trying <laughs> so to you, say. So like... If and the man them... Like, my girl's not coming around here like this. What do you mean? She wouldn't be... You wouldn't bring her here? Like with all you niggas in here like this. Why not? Why, you, why not? 
Because this is the mandem zone, and it like this is why we're kicking it. You get me? But is that some man will say that's your real girl if you could bring her around though? Yeah, but it's my real girl, and she's at you home mean, chilling, you, waiting for me to be done. Mean, it? You mean you want to like separate the two different? Yeah, man, this ain't all home life and mandem here, we're, 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 friendly, yeah, because, friendly, friendly, friendly. Because that, that's that's when it gets technical. Because a few months later, you like we see one of your mandem following your girl. You're like. Why are you following her? Why are you liking her pictures? You like bare pictures, and what makes it worse? You know what? She's liking their for, pictures. Yeah, you, know, you see, if you got a bread junior, and he's got a gal baby, or whatever, and she puts up like say, sexy pictures. Do you like it? What if your girlfriend puts up sexy pictures? Say me and you're a bread junior. Yeah, like, yeah. What like, with good bread junior? Yeah. And then I've got the gal, and she's putting up nice bikini pictures. panty pictures. Is she a popular like, girl or is she just a regular girl? In between. In between. In between. And you see that picture and liking the picture or scrolling past. No, no, I'm scrolling past it. Because nine times out of ten, I'm not going to follow that woman. Why am I following your girl for? That's mad. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, I just feel like cool. that's a weird vibe as a man to mm. do that to another guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like it's like if you come here and you got your girl here and I'm following her tomorrow, why the fuck am I following your girlfriend? Mm-hmm. It's like I remember back in then, even my close brethren, as was, was like together, like maybe their wifey would follow me. I do that unfollow block on anything. <laughs> I'm like, your wife, he you shouldn't follow me. Mm. You shouldn't. It just it just causes too much fucking problems as a guy. Like I just feel yeah, like yeah, you yeah. see like a little creep with good like with good guy intentions, you know. No, nah, like. no, nah, because the thing is, yeah, <laughs> you know when it comes to yeah. things, when it comes to girls, yeah, mm. it's just me and the thing. Like mm. literally, I'm, I'm the only thing is like I've learned to do now. I'm a bit more honest in it. Before I just link bad things and have my roster of like nine or ten. When I lose one, I add one. When I lose one, I add <laughs> one or whatever. But the problem is that now is that I now. I got time for nine, girl. Because I don't have a job, bruv. <laughs> That's why. That was my job. It was a full time job, bruv. That was my day in and day out, bruv. That was literally Monday morning. Like, what I do, like, let's say, for example, I meet one of my things. She comes in the night, night, like eight, nine o'clock. She'll sleep over. Then the next day, I'll be like, Baze, I've got to go work. I didn't have work, bruv. I just put on clothes and walk outside to the bus stop and mm. take her to the bus stop. Then I go back in. To about two o'clock, my next thing would come. She was on she a dating, leave around 7, 8 o'clock at the night. You're chopping yeah. more than one the in next a day. Thing my, the, the next thing would come in at 10 o'clock. So then that's how I could keep the nine going throughout the whole week. And you just... And what, you just having sex with all of them in one Yeah, day? yeah, yeah. But I did give them one round. Just give them one <laughs> round because I need to pace myself for the next thing. Because then if next time I'm trying to beat one, they're going to know something's up. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Well, sometimes a, a few times what I do, I'd beef my thing in the house. And then she'd be sleeping <laughs> over. And I used to do raves, innit? So I used to do my own flyering and shit. So I'd be like, babes, I'll go go fly. Then I go see the next thing. Go to her yard after the after a flyer, and then go back to the thing I've seen, and just come back to bed. Fuck you know what I mean, but like I said, that's with my things. Mm, I'm mm. not trying to fucking talk to other guys, girls, mm, and I'm not trying mm, to do it to anybody. I fucking. I might not move like that, still, yeah, man. No, I might not but move some like guys, that. but some so guys. So you might think to disrespect those, yeah, though. You can't move to man's girl. But some guys, but that's that's the thing, though. Some guys, it's almost like they want to test you, but that's a personal thing with you. Yeah, that's yeah, a personal yeah, thing yeah. that they have with you. So they're doing that little little weird fucking jabs with you where you can't personally ask them about it and be like, bruv, why are you doing that? Because then mm. you look like a fucking bitch. It's mm. so asking them why they're doing those things. But they're doing it on a slighting. So you come out of your skin and you come out of your shell. Yeah, yeah, so it's, yeah. that's why I feel like I feel like it's a bitchy thing as a guy to do because mm. it's almost like you know what you're doing, but I can't say it without looking insecure. Mm. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. you're low-key just trying to jab me and prod me until mm. I say something. That means you're not really my I friend. I don't entertain them. Yeah, I don't entertain them thing there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I'm trying to say. It's mad. That's why I said, if my brethren's wifey, your link, whatever, I don't, I don't follow them, and I ain't going to mm. like their pictures either. There's too yeah. many girls in the world for me to be fucking liking your girlfriend's pictures. I see you and all the likes. You me? Mm. I'm selective, to be fair. Mm. If I like you, this too. Like it, you? <laughs> <laughs> so, what was, so how about you, then? This is a good question. How about you? <laughs> what, what, so, I then, like your, like, your brethren, yeah? yeah? No, I won't say you, because you, everything is unavailable. He, he probably does, to be fair, you know. What, like the girl's picture? But yeah. you like my baby mom's pictures, With probably. What? Yeah, if it's a if it's a proper thing, yeah, yeah, <laughs> my legs are like If it's a proper picture, but what's a proper gonna, picture? I'm what's a proper picture? Proper, like, say, all right, say, she's just. What's a proper picture? <laughs> what's, a, what's the definition of a proper picture? Like she's dressed up appropriately. Yeah. And she got a nice dress on. Yeah, you get me. But if it's a bikini thing now, I ain't, I ain't touching it. You get what I'm trying to say? He's telling the truth. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. But it, I'm just saying, it's it it just getting technical. But well, this is the thing, though, at the same time. But he knows if, it, everybody if, knows if, everybody. If a man's girl's putting up the panty picture or bikini picture, and that yeah. she's doing it for a reason, you get what I'm trying so to say. So you feel like it's part of a man's attention. My girl so you're can't just post them things there. You get what I'm trying to so say. So let me ask you this. So can your girl, you said your girl can't do that. Nah, 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 nah. So nah. what would you do if she does? You're like, and what? She puts it up. Bro, bro I'll return to the streets, bro. Like, <laughs> simple as, bro. You get me? That ain't my girl because she ain't gonna do them things. Oh, but you, you think like it's a, what if she's a, how, what if you met her like that? There you go, and that's the, that's the thing though. But I don't go for them kind of things. Okay, I go for situations that I know 
I can control. You get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> you got the insecure things, like. Nah, nah, nah. nah, 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 nah secure, but they're not. You get what I'm saying? They're not on them say. things. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So yeah. you've, you've been with your girlfriend a while, she's like, babes, you know this Instagram, this OnlyFans thing's popping off, girls buying houses. Mm. I just want to put some pictures up. Not nothing, nothing, nothing mad, just little pictures. She won't be my girl, and she could do it, but I want to cut. You want to cut? Let's <laughs> pimp <in> now. <laughs> I want my 25% to get what I'm saying. Yeah. Nah, nah, I feel you. I feel, I feel yeah. you on that one, to be fair. Like, I've linked a few girls that did, like, stripping before, mm. but I didn't know. They told me, I was linking yeah, them, and then they told yeah. me what they did. And the moment I found out, I was like, oh, that can't be my girl then, because I was, mm. I was linking a ting. <laughs> Funny enough, she's really, I don't think she does that now. She's blessed. Like, shout out to her. Like, she's a nice person. But, like, at the time when I met her, she just told me that's what she did. Mm. But she lived out of London, mm. and she was, like, the only black thing in the ends. Mm. So I'm like, that means all these white men have seen your titties. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, like, if, we go, Nando, if we go Nando's, that means all these men have seen your titties. So I was like, can't really... <laughs> It can't really run with me, like, do you know what I mean? But not mm. knocking her thing, but at the same time, I just thought to myself, it's not for me. Now, she's looking Chris, though, so shout out to her. Mm. What do you think that OnlyFans thing, though? OnlyFans, I think, I think <laughs> for girls that's hustling, I think OnlyFans only works if you're a girl that's an influencer. Because then you can literally put out normal pictures of yourself and you don't have to do no slimy shit. You can literally just do the normal thing and you can make money off that way. Yeah, and the maddest yeah. thing, this is what people don't know. This is how girls actually make money off the OnlyFans thing, because I know a few things in it. They make money off the messaging. So man, yeah, them yeah, asking yeah, yeah, and yeah. requesting for mm, things. So like, mm. if you say, "Can I have a picture of feet? Mm. Can I have a picture of you in your outfit?" Mm. And then they will you could be like, "Yeah, a thousand pounds, mm. two thousand pounds, or whatever." They'll mm. pay for it personally. That's what I say. Pounds, I think it only works with influencer things. Mm. I think regular mm. things, mm. you're gonna have to show a lot. You're gonna have to show your whole <laughs> asshole on that. Bro. You have to show your fucking your your, your ether, bro. You have to do bare shit on there, bruv. Just for a normal thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That. Trust me. Yeah, man, we're yeah, good, man. isn't it? Yeah. Or you think we missed anything? Or, well, nah, uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll just say this, yeah. Big man thing, go, go stream, pull up, Spotify, yeah. mm. Apple, all music platforms. Go on my YouTube, watch it, pull up. Out now, big man thing, Kenny yeah. All-Star, shout me, bruv. Kenny All-Star. Mm -hmm. So big man he thing is going, one. is getting numbers, so check that out. That's mm. what you're going to do. Mm. So big up, big up, big up Cassidy Low, that again. Country. You know the oh, vibes. Say for having me on, man. Yeah, every yeah, man. time, every time. The Remy got me boss up still. Trust you know, me, oh yeah, mash up, bro. You know what's going on, though. The vibes, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Cool, cool. Drinky juice, don't talk nothing too loose. You get me, T? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, me, Simon. Did we big up Simon Cardo? Yeah, Simon Cardo, man. In the f we've been going for know, time, you know. know. Did we big up at the start, though? Yeah, yeah, we did, man. Trust yeah, me, trust yeah, me, yeah. trust <laughs> me. Every time, know, every time, every time. Teams fly in, then they fly out.